tired. Burn and learn. Burn and learn. Both for both of us, yeah, actually. Yeah, that's just true. You did one as well, didn't you? Did you shower? Yeah, yeah, I showered. How did he shower? Obviously, I, I burned and learned a lot longer, obviously. What well, the heck? What is that? It's got to give you your ad. Also, you got to press play. Oh, I do have to press, what do I have to press play on? Oh, I have to press play over here. I see. Okay. I All right, so for those of you who don't know, this is a burn and learn. This is my bid to stay alive and fit long enough to raise my amazing son. son. And to enjoy the coming twilight years of my brilliant, beautiful wife, Jane, I hate exercise. Not Jane, I hate. Exercise. Yeah, that would be bad, wouldn't it? No. No. So, I to spend the exercise. impending, impending I love Jane. twilight years with my beautiful, brilliant wife, Jane, I hate exercise. It's boring, come so I like to learn on, something while I'm doing it. Exercise. Then I like to share what I've learned with you in the sweatiest, most miserable, self-indulgent, and now live way possible. Um... Oh my gosh, these live ones are exhausting. Um, I know, right? <laughs> so a few things. First off, the learn part of my burn and learn. So I finished hello, my hello, data scientist hello. thing. All right, hang on. Hold on, hellos. Yeah, I want to do my burn and learn first, and then we can say hi to everybody. I'm sorry I'm going to ignore everybody. This is my selfish time. This is my burn and learn time. So this is what I would time. film on YouTube in solitary confinement and then send out to you. I'm going to try to do it live here. So, um, so I'm going to be selfish and take my time. So... First off, um, I finished my data scientist thing. So I've got through the whole LinkedIn learning data scientist uh, uh, plan, basically, and uh, my glasses are fogging up. Um, so uh, I, I didn't know what to do next, and I thought, okay, here's what I need to do. I have been doing a lot of this online tech bandit stuff. What I need is more, I need more Tinkercad foo. I need to be better with my Tinkercad stuff. So I've been looking at some of the Zoom, um, uh, some of this Zoom program that I've been using for meetings with the kids to see if there's anything there I can learn. Um, there's a few little things here and there that are kind of neat, but, um, but for the actual learn part of my Burn and Learn, I decided to focus on Tinkercad. And I found um, that they have a YouTube channel that will work you through this stuff. And I'm just amazed at how far Tinkercad has come since I first sort of introduced the kids to it. Like four or five or six years ago now, whatever it is. Um, and uh, so it's it's added a whole Minecraft thing. It's added a whole code blocks thing. Uh, so basically you can code in it, you can design, and then if you don't have a 3D printer, you can actually import your designs into Minecraft. And you can also import your designs into Lego. And Baz, you'll like this because you know how much Lego we have upstairs and how much you love me making you play with it. Um, you can actually design something in Tinkercad and then have it rendered out as bricks in Lego. And you can go step by step through the layers of what's required and then build those things in real life. So this answers a really big issue that came up with my Tech Bandits is, um, is this lack of certain, certain... Obviously not everyone has a 3D printer. Um, just, you know, it's still generally the nerd crew here that, um, that have these things. So I thought... Other than like printing things out and taking them to the house and thus probably spreading the virus, um, I, I was looking for, you know, what's the point of teaching them 3D design if they can't actually build anything with it? Well, now they can. Tinkercad, Autodesk, thumbs up from Hewlett on that. So I've been um, looking at a video for that. I will find the link for it and I will send it to you because it's, uh, it's, just, um, it's just one of these like webinars. Um, so it's a little sort of, it's not exactly the most dynamic thing in the world to watch, but for someone who's trying to learn how to teach uh, or to work with Tinkercad online with the kids, it's, I mean, it's just absolutely invaluable. And obviously, what's really funny is I look at the t at all the LinkedIn learning classes right now, that, uh, the, the options that you have out there when I was looking through what to learn. Um, and so many of the online teaching courses are like the popular ones now, of course, because everyone's freaking out and trying to figure out how to do this. So um, really, really interesting stuff. Um, to sort of plow through while I was uh, while I was in the torture mode <laughs> that I call exercise, um, so I did a little shorter a shorter uh, uh, sort of stretch of on the torture device today. I did I did fifty minutes five zero minutes, but I upped to seven on the resistance because what I think I need to do is I'm finding it harder to get that hour and a bit of time um, in the day to do my exercise. It's sort of getting pushed because there's all sorts of stuff going on. And so I thought maybe I should start doing a little bit less, but doing it like every day. So it becomes a true habit. Because one of the cool things about this is if you're locked away for two weeks, you know, it takes two weeks to establish a habit. So potentially we could actually come up with some really good habits in two weeks. And I'd like potentially to, to, to get to the point where I'm, um, where I'm exercising every day. And um, uh, instead of having these down days, which then turn into a couple of down days and, you know. Um, and speaking about down days, Baz, cover your ears. Your father is not perfect. Um, 
Uh, first off, Baz did his presentation today about his, his sort of learning, what did you call it? It's called an SLI, student as a learner. Student as a learner, student Baz, led. Student led interviews. Thank sorry. you, student led interviews, so obviously he's learned a lot. Um, but uh, I was really impressed with what the school had done here and how they'd sort of inspired Baz to take some, to take sort of pride in this thing and walk us through it. It took a good hour and a half, almost two hours, and he walked through what we'd what he'd learned so far, um, the things he was proud of, the things he felt like he needed to work on. It was just, it was really, really interesting to see. Um, and we're sort of facing the fact that Monday, the fun stops. Well, not not entirely, but, but Baz goes back to school on Monday, so he has to start doing online learning. And they have a system where basically they're keeping him busy online from nine until when in the, in the afternoon? What? When do, you're nine um, until it's when? It's 8.45 until 3.30. Until 3.30, so there you go. So. I'm sort of hoping that that means I can feel a little less guilty about not hanging out with Baz during that period of time and I can start working on some of the stuff that you I... You shouldn't feel bad. No, no, I'm not feeling guilty. I but feel I... bad that you feel bad. Well, don't feel bad. But the point being is I just, I, you know, given the option, I'd just be hanging out playing with you all the time. But, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff that's come up recently and I wanted to sort of throw this out there because I think if I'm having an issue with this, I'm wondering if maybe everyone else is as well. We're online now. We are at home. Everyone's operating in this weird kind of jet lagged when they're when they're inspired kind of um, uh, communication bursts if that makes sense, and um, I don't know about you, but I'm finding it really, I'm struggling with it. Like I'm finding that it's I you know while I'm having a great time connecting with people and talking to people, I'm feeling like my days are becoming sort of overwhelmingly um, overwhelmingly busy online. Like and and that that I'm not actually getting. The sort of the downtime that I used to have when there was things that were breaking up that that um, that sort of online work, so to speak, um, you know, because you know some people are waking up late and 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 want to address things later in the day. Some people want to do things um, early in the morning, and and so there's just stuff coming in all the time. And then with social media, it just seems to compound this stuff. And I'm curious to know how people are dealing with it. Like I don't feel like I'm not dealing with. It. I feel like I'm, I, I I feel very responsive, and I feel like we're. We're getting a lot done, um, but at the same time, I'm worried about like whether the focus is on the right things. And I've just found out that the um, the mask drive that's happened up at at our local hospital, um, they have now added these 3D printed protective shields. And I just wish, you know, we've been talking about those for weeks now. I, if I'd known that that's what they were going to want, we could have had hundreds of them by now. But the fact of the matter is, I guess they had to do due diligence. They needed to get to the point where they. They knew that this was what they needed. They now need 3D printed masks. So we're going to start doing some some of those. I'm hoping if I can get the materials I need, um, I will start printing some of those. Um, if only just to hand out to the to the local docs who live around here who have been asking for them. So, um, uh, but I think the most important thing probably is just to let you know that there is this PP drive thing. It's called Personal Protective Equipment Drive um, at the uh, McGarren, Michael McGarren Hospital. Uh, in Toronto. So if there are 3D printers out there who can do that kind of stuff, or even sewing professionals, I thought maybe cosplayers and stuff would be good at this. They have these great little uh, blueprints for masks that you can print. And the idea, which I thought was genius, was a lot of people were saying, like, you can't have medical professionals doing using 3D printed stuff and masks. What's the validation on that? And where's the medical background? What they're saying now is these are for people who are coming into hospital. So if you're coming in to get checked, if you're coming in because you've got a broken arm, you're coming in to a hospital because you have to be in a hospital, it makes sense to wear something over your face. So these um, these sewn masks are for people, visitors coming into, this, into, into the visitors, the patients coming into the hospital or potential patients. Um, obviously there's no visitors right now. Um, so I thought that was a really, really smart idea. And then the face shields, I believe, are for the medical professionals, but I'm not sure. I haven't actually read that bit yet. But I have shared it because I think it's important to get it out there. Um, and uh, so that's it. That's my little sort of verbal diarrhea for um, my for my, uh, for my 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 burn alert. Baz, what did you do for your burn alert today? Um, so mom says it was really intense. Yeah, so me and mom did like a 20-minute full body workout. Or mom and I, depending before, on how our grammars, you know. But before that, I'm just going to say thank you so much for the subs to Hark Light. And all the bits we have been given. Oh, really? Has that happened while we've been chatting? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, thank you. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm sorry to ignore everybody. I just... Sorry, but like for my... I don't want to miss out on, on, on like my 
my my my headspace time. Like I've really enjoyed these 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 uh, burn and learns because they I get to I just they're they're in a way they're like a personal diary for me and they 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 are entirely sort of stream of consciousness and I and I and I don't mean to ignore people with this. I know it's a different platform, but I just I feel like I gotta I want to do my little YouTube clip even if it's only you know just at the beginning of a live stream. So yes, sorry I cut you off. Uh, so yes, thank you to everybody for all the bits and stuff. Thank yeah, you, Baz. Thank you guys. Um, and what did you do for exercise? You did like three seven-minute workouts or something. I did, well, uh, mom wanted me to do three seven-minute workouts. Really? I did one full-body expert 20-minute workout. She says it was advanced. Advanced, sorry. Yeah. No, no, I'm not saying, I'm not, uh, I'm not correcting you. I'm saying she was saying that it was actually like really hard. Yeah, it, it, uh, yeah, it is, uh, v very hard. Um, yeah, that's what I did. For my exercise, mm -hmm. even though it was twenty minutes, it was a workout. For and me. you managed to get a shower in there, which is more than I did. Yeah, I managed to look nice for sure. <laughs> and I managed to look like a mess. All right, now I can get in there and actually talk to some people. So, uh, what do we got? Hello, soda crafter. Hello. Um, yeah, first off, hello everybody. Thank you, J Flex. Oh, we had pizza last night, by the way. That was amazing. Um, J Flex, thank you very much. All right, J Flex, my son's mom's parents just got back from El Salvador. They were stuck there, but the government arranged a flight out for the. Oh, wow, good for them. Um, they just got home back to Canada. They had to wear masks and gloves. Yeah, I mean, the fact of the matter is, it's sounding like um, the local hospital with this PPE drive thing is saying that uh, we probably should be wearing masks when we go out now. I mean, why not? Um, so, uh, has David got it today? What's that? Almost look stupid. Hello. Hello. Hello, everyone. Um, Hello. Yeah, so I apologize if I haven't said hi to people. Feel free to come say hello now. Uh, Hark Light, it's okay, David. We love you. What's up, McKay? Says Realms Down. Um, uh, Soda Crafter. Soda Crafter, are you doing any 3D... Uh, not 3D printed. Are you doing any sewn masks as well? Because you do cro crochet stuff. But, I mean, I guess you can't crochet a mask. A little too big on the old... Uh, on the big molecules getting through there. But do you do sewing as well? Darling Clementine's having pizza tonight. What kind of pizza do you like, Darling Clementine? We've been going for this Pizza Hut. We like this deep dish oh, Pizza yeah. Hut it's pan so pizza. It's so bad oh. for you, but it's so Oh, I can good. almost still taste it. Not I, taste it, but feel it in can? my... Oh, it's so I good. You know, we still have some... <gasps> for lunch, we could have <gasps> leftover lunch. pizza. Oh, my gosh. That's the beautiful thing about a burn alert is you come out and you are just hungry. Um, all right. Fumbles Week Stupid says hello again. Nutramancer says hello, guys. Isaac the Pug says hey. Ugly. Hey. Pig Beast, hello. Bill Blight, Grumpy Geek. How you doing, Bill Blight? Dinner Beef. One of these days they will find out the Dev Null is useful item in the game. What is Dev Null? The it's the beef? item I got yesterday. Oh, really? Uh, so the one I was reading about today uh, in my Burn and Learn Baths is uh, MC Edit, which we played with before. And the idea is that then you can export your... Um, Tinker, Tinkercad creations, convert them into Minecraft, and then convert them into, then use MC Edit to bring them into your game. So you can actually design things for that. Again, I think a great way of getting 3D printing into your kids' education without actually having to have a 3D printer, and it's a lot less messy, and it's entirely cheap. Uh, what do you got? Spider just ran across my keyboard. Eek! Uh, but we love our spiders. It depends what kind of spider it is, I guess. I uh, just watched fast food commercial before the live went feed, and now I'm hungry. Yep, that's why they do it. Wolf Shade. Braille Cortex. This pack has draconic evolution. And one of the endgame items is a chaotic reactor. If you use it wrong, it creates the biggest explosion in the game. Sort of like the three-quarter of a solar system destroyer. I don't know what of which you speak, Braille, Con Braille Cortex. MC Edit, very useful. I loved MC Edit. When, we, when, we, when it first came out, it was like I was like, oh my god, this is the biggest cheat ever. I love it. Uh, my mom and her quilting group have seen have been seeing masks. Oh, great! Yeah, that's cool. Um, Wolf Shade twelve twenty eight. I'm using the one from Eliana Health. Anyone is free to share share what you what you want on that stuff if you're there. David, if you craft a computer in Minecraft, you can program it using Lua. Yeah, I've heard about that. I haven't done that. I used to play with the turtles. There was a I don't know if it was a tur was it a turtle I love mod? It. Yeah, it was turtles. Was it a mod though? Uh, yeah. It was yeah, I think it was a mod that allowed you to to basically code turtles to, to dig and stuff for you. So, of course, you know, I went total replicator with it and had it digging all sorts of holes in uh, in poor... Uh, um, uh, oh, God. I know, but then, uh, in didn't poor we... dire wolf sight. Remember that? Yeah, poor... but uh, but then uh, we had to go on a rescue mission because you lost it. Yeah, but we couldn't find it. It was like in it lava. It dug into lava. Uh-oh, network error. Please try again. What's going on? It's only you, Dad. Is it just me? Oh. It's not me. 
All right. Um, hey, Michael from Pixie Rose, Microsoft. I told them you were streaming too yesterday, but that would require to set up a Minecraft play day. What's this? What's up, Pixie? What's up? Hey, K Michael, thanks for the subscription, buddy. Um, oh, Isaac, what more does that? Hey, Pixie. Mm, Pixie is back. Hey. Isaac the mob. Isaac, Isaac is here. Isaac the pet. Isaac the pug. We got a we got a server. Isaac the pug. You got to join it. It's all listed in the um, in the actual title of this stream. Baz has very wisely like spammed it full of info. Karam, good evening. Friday Caught up gym. last night's stream. Hilarious. Oh, really? I'm so glad my misfortune was, hum was humorous to you. Sadly, I will miss most of this as I have to go to bed soon. Clocks go forward tonight and I have to be up at 6 a.m. Oh, Karam, you poor oh, thing. Karam. Pixie Rose, David Blue, what's up? What's up with David Blue? What is up with the man? Um, it's the third eye storytelling. I got your email. I haven't, I haven't, to be honest, I just, I, I skimmed over it. But I'll, I'll, uh, I'll have to look it over properly and get, uh, and get back into get back into you, or whatever that means. Wolf Shay, twelve twenty eight. Soda Crafter is awesome. What do you got, Soda Crafter? Uh, almost big stupid says. Uh, don't remind me about the clocks. He was streaming yesterday too. Remember Pixie Rose? What uh, David was right? David, I think you are a very good actor. Just fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. Is it because I pretend to love my son so much? Is that what it is? Is that the uh, pretend to honor, respect my son? Um, that's my acting skill. Pretend to have uh, a good father. Hey, speaking of acting skills, I have to do an audition uh, this weekend for a director I've worked for before um, in a very similar role, I might add. But it's just so weird to get your head around the idea. I was like, but are they going to film it? Like, when are they going to film it? They're talking about going in May, and I, I guess it'll happen in May, but who knows? It's just sort of, it's so weird... With everything that's happening in the world, I feel like you know, we're talking about 3D printing masks and trying to save lives and, and everyone stay away from each other or you'll, or you'll, you know, this virus will get you. And then it's just so weird to start thinking about, like, auditions. Anyways, I don't know if anyone else finds that weird. Anyone else finding it weird going back to their, to their lives? Um, David, it's okay. I did acknowledge that you have been busy lately. I won't hold it against you. Ha ha! In other words, you totally hold it against me. And you should. I, I really, I've got to say, I am struggling to keep up. Um, there's been a lot of emails, and I guess the more you reach out to people, obviously the more you, um, you know, more people you have to, to to keep to keep up with, basically. And 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 tonight, like for example, we're gonna have a uh, uh, like I'll cut this off around like 6:30, I guess, what? because I told you, because at seven o'clock I am going to hang out oh, with yeah. some of my oldest friends online. We're all getting together, and this will probably be the last time we've done this was. You know, at a funeral or a or a wedding, basically, it's one of the, one of those usually. And now it's in, during the apocalypse, so that seems like a good way. Um, no, Picard's final. I don't want to know. Don't want to know. Haven't seen it yet. I'm trying to talk my son into watching it in a binge fashion. I think once he starts watching, he'll get into it. But we'll see. What you, you um, want me to get into? What? At least actors are in a puddle jumper for 24 hours without a bathroom, or 20 hours without a bathroom. Well, no, there are plenty of bathroom breaks. Trust me. Um, I got the bladder of a small, like small hamster-like creature. Um, so, uh, hang on, shouldn't you be tweeting about the stream, Karem? What do you mean? Oh, right, I haven't actually tweeted about the stream, it's very true. Um, yes, I should, but I often don't tweet about my, my burn and learns, right? So I usually just, uh, again, I hope, like, well, tell me, what do you, what do you, uh, what do you folks think? Is it okay to, is it okay to do these, um, burn and learns live? Or should I just stick to doing them with YouTube and then posting them and then coming in and doing these separately? I just... Maybe it's maybe it doesn't work to sort of try to crunch everything together, but uh, I uh, I'm, I'm curious to know uh, curious to know your thoughts on that. Uh, everything is content. Well, I don't want to feel like I know it does feel a bit like that, and I don't want it to be content. I mean, it is content, obviously, but I just I the weird thing that I found with with the burn and learn on that I do for YouTube is that I it's honestly like talking to a therapist every day or every other day. I I just I. Um, it's become sort of a habit that I really enjoy and I love, you know, popping in and answering the odd question now and again. And I prefer this because you can actually talk to it. But, um, uh, uh, what do we got? Uh, is the mod on Twitch and what's the name again? Isaac the Pug. The look mod? at the title of this video. Everybody, look at the title of this video. Uh, Baz, you should probably consider stop playing for a moment. Yes. And maybe set up some instructions for people as to how they can get on and put you it on the front page. You go to mods and No, then... no, but I'm saying why don't we write it down for people so they've got it. You want me to write down? I know, things? right, I know it's... But don't you think put it on the front page of our, um, of our stream? Uh, sure. All right, at some point we should do that. Obviously, that's not... Now is not the time. You have well, done your exercise. Well, it's just nobody will be able to see it if I do it now. Okay, all right, very good. I see, I see, you see. Um, all right, you should do it in the way you want. Enjoy it. Don't make it work. 
don't make it work. Oh, don't make it work. <laughs> I think it's like, don't worry, it's not working, but don't worry about making it work. It's for you. Um, I see. Don't make it work. I see. Right. Yeah. No, I don't. It doesn't feel like an obligation. That's the weird thing is, um, you know, and, and I guess part of my, we talk about like guilt with a kid and stuff is I feel like I want to be here for his streams um, because we so tend to do it together. But uh, DSTAT, I can get a page set up on Iron Ham TV on the guy. Oh, like to guide people through it. Oh, great. DSTAT, thank you. And by the way, everybody, the reason why we're on a really cool Enigmatica server is because DSTAT. DSTAT set it up. Yeah. Actually, DSTAT, how do you do that teleport thing? Do we need, like, admin stuff for that? Can I teleport without, you know, because Baz was telling me, I was like, were you doing the tele teleport thing? He's like, no, no, DSTAT, man. Um, so I was going to ask I, that. I said that. man. I was going to ask about that. Uh, I don't think you said man. I'm the hippie around here. Not sure if you saw this or not, but I figured you or Baz may find this interesting. This is Google. Somebody's built the entire Earth in Minecraft to scale. O M G, wow! Hey, Marty McFly, twenty eighteen. How are you? Is that a is that a Back to the Future reference? Is that a little uh, uh, Crispin Glover uh, Crispin Lovin Crisp Crispin Glover reference? Um, Fumbles Big Stupid says that would be cool. D stat, thank you, D stat. That's amazing. Well played. Uh, yes, type in slash tp name and you'll teleport to anyone's name now. Oh, fantastic! Thanks, D stat. Um, uh, I'm trying not to cheat too much, but you know. Hey, CM Dexec. Uh, greetings, lovely people. Greetings right back at you. Uh, where's live caption? What does that mean, Marty McFly? What is what is live caption? Anyone know what Marty McFly is talking about? Nope. Are you guys going on Discord? Hark like. Uh, yeah, I'm on Discord. You're on Discord? Should I be on Discord too? I find it. I'm, I'm on. It's actually. I've, I'm waiting for. Uh... To be honest, I find it easier to focus on the chat on this. Oh, subtitles. Oh, Marty McFly, you're deaf. Um, does it have automatic uh, subtitles? Stream? Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. Is there a setting? Does someone say, um, does someone have a uh, some, some kind of information on that? Yeah. Um, let me get back to you with text then. I mean, I can't type exactly what's going on. I don't. My typing is so bad. Um, all right. Um... Uh, Hey, Marty. Marty. Okay. Marty McFly. Uh, how do we set up those subtitles for you? Um, Warzone is 18 plus. Pixie Rose says Warzone is 18 plus. You know what? We're not really big on the ratings. Um, you know, I sort of feel like... I don't know. I feel like we sort of desensitized you already. Uh, Leafbot3000, yo. Yo to you too. Look up online for Chrome plugins for auto live audio to subtitle. Oh, thanks, DSTAT. That's cool. That's very cool. Um, yeah, that would be amazing. I always want to learn how to do uh, sign language. It would be cool to be able to talk and do sign language at the same time. Uh, the same asked if you play Warzone. Oh, I see. Uh, I we have used not played. To. Did you? Yeah. What? It was on the Xbox. Oh, really? Yeah, I used to play it with friends all the time. That's great. It's nice to know after the fact about my bad parenting skills. There's an OBS plugin actually to have subtitles shown on your stream. Oh, that's good to know, Baz. Hmm? Oh, Leafbot3000 is learning binary and Morse code. That is neat. Uh, let me get back to just D -Mart to Marty and let him, let him know that uh, we'll have a look at that. All right. At Marty, uh, Marty McFly, we will definitely look into subtitles for you. Subtitles, well, not for you, for everybody. Um, uh, thanks for pointing it out. All right. Um, okay, <laughs> one day Wolves Den will have a graphics card. King Fluffles! Hello, King Fluffles! That's Hello, a good King name. Fluffles. That's a fun one to say. Miss Carol Z, how are you? Uh, no idea, but someone turned captioning on. Oh, it's on already? Someone did it? There's a Twitch extension for captions, and there is Web Captioneer. You can add it to as your browser is source. Thank you, Soda Crafter. You're amazing. K. Michael, I need more Dramamine. Yeah, no kidding, K. Michael. This is my issue. Is I have to sort of like play, not play, play, not play. You know what I would do? I would float, float the chat in front of the game, and then you could just concentrate on the um, on the chat. Um, 
Bob Carnes says, thank you for streaming, David. You know what? Thank him. He got me into this whole streaming thing. I was You're terrified welcome. of going live. Uh, Were you actually? Thanks, Tech Terrors TV. So, Marty, just so you know, actually, Marty, if you've got your subtitle things on now, I guess. Um, so, I am Tech I am Tech Terrors TV. I am Iron Ham. He's too. Iron Ham. But Iron Ham is our channel. I don't, Tech Terrors TV is, is just Not my either. handle so that I can have a, a, another one. Oh, wow. Eli Wallach has a Stargate prop collection. Is there a way that I can share it with everybody, though? Like, Well, I guess everyone can look at the link. All right, everyone, let's let's go look at Eli Wallach's prop collection together. Well, Baz, Minecraft. Is that all right? Do you mind? Oh, not at all. All right. Holy mother of... Wow. Oh, wow. Holy moly. That is... I like the Zat. You got Zat, you got replicators, you've got shells of some sort, terraphrase, eradication. Wow, that is some serious goods. Hey! Is that are those the fabric signed cards? Is that what those are? Am I right in assuming that that's what those are? Um I guess that is the little set. That's so funny, because again, when I first started, I was like, I don't I don't want to sign cards. It feels like it just feels like a money grab and all this kind of stuff. And then someone said, like, get off your high horse, buddy. People want them. Um, did you get did, did you did you get a fabric? Did you get a Hewlett fabric one? I'd be curious to know. Uh, oh, wow. And you got a list of all the stuff. Woohoo. Wow. Okay. Now, here's the next question. How much did that set you back? Oh, is that Atlantis stuff that going on there? What are those little disc things? Oh, are those all cards? Wow. That is pretty great, and and why the why in the big uh, why in the big um, you know tackle boxes? Are they are you are you carrying them around a lot or something? Park light! Oh my gosh! Thank you very much. Thank you. Arclight. Spamming the bits. Eli Wallace control crystals. Are they control crystals? Ah, very good, very good. Oh my god! I don't know how many of those things we lost. I I remember someone saying like, oh, you should take a couple of control crystals. I was like, yeah, what a good idea. And I went up there, none. <laughs> They're all gone. Uh, whose medals are they, Eli? They are they uh, are they Hammonds? Who's who's yeah? Who's are they? King Fluffles, remember the adage: "Give the fans what they want." Um, yeah. Oh and wow. O'Neill's second. Wow, that's cool. DHD control crystals. I wish I had some kind of Stargate props. All I got is 3D models. Well, you know what, Dextro too. They're pretty freaking great too. Um. You know, these are the ones, I haven't had a chance to look at them, and I'm going to start printing um, masks, I think, next. But, I mean, I just, the detail you can get out of the 3D models are pretty, pretty great, i got to say. Um, you know, um, there's a bunch, and I did, I did another one over, I mean, I guess the one that we're using over here is, uh, is the other side of this one. But, again, the detail is just, I'm sort of, like, stunned at how, the kind of detail you can Hello? get out of these things. Hello? Um, you know? It's kind Hi. of extraordinary. Um, Hello. Cheer 1, Cheer 1, says Harklight42. Uh, Fumbleswick Stupid says, nice. Eli Wallace says, yeah, I don't have a McKay signature yet. All right, Eli. See what I can do for you. Um, uh, although nowadays, what are we going to do? Send it and send it back? It's like saying, here, have a virus. Um, uh, I'd love to figure out some way of doing this, of doing that online, though, because... It does seem a shame to me that only people who can afford to go to the, the conventions or who happen to be in the right area for conventions or have the, have the money to fly to conventions can do this stuff. So, um, uh, merch. <laughs> Xenos is the best. Um, did, did I show you Xenos' stickers? Yeah, I did. I guess I tweeted this. I tweeted that, didn't I? Um, but uh, Xenos' stickers are, are, are going to be freaking amazing. They're going to be all over the neighborhood soon. Um, no, they'll probably be all over my uh, my, my laptop. Light. Wow, thank you. Um Sign the tech bandit stuff. Well, that's true. Although then we've got to get the then you got to get the t-shirt sent to me, and I got to send the t-shirt back off. And I just worry about. Um, well, right now I worry about sending people things. Um, and the other thing I worry about is just the um, uh, the cost, right? Like I mean, it just costs so much stuff to to send things these days. I cannot wait to see the Stargate when it's complete. I wish I could get into three D printing for props and stuff. It really does seem like an awesome hobby. And the fact that you're going to be using the skill for good to help out in 
in these crazy times. Ha ha. Well, thank you, Third Eye Storytelling. Look, I don't know how much help I'm going to be on this stuff. I think truly my... That it, I feel like my m most valuable asset for people will probably be just helping to amplify the message, if that makes sense. Like get people who do know what they're doing, uh, if, if they happen to not be aware of how they can help, to let them know they can help. Um, you know, so I feel like that's probably my, my best bet. Um, I was going to look into seeing if there was a way to do some kind of like online education for... Um, like do some tech bandit stuff maybe with doctors kids like so if the if the doctors are out working and their kids are struggling with the school stuff um i wondered if maybe there was a way i could have like a a little like tech bandit session for some of those kids now what i've discovered though of course is that they're different ages and, and different sort of attention spans and stuff um you know some of them have different um uh i guess different learning styles and stuff so i'd have to come up with specific things for them but uh I really, I think I'm going to focus on Tinkercad right now because it's just such a great, just such a great platform for it. Um, I kind of want to visit a convention, but I really do not have the money, especially not enough when it's in Vancouver or Sith. Um, uh, also, yeah, I didn't Sith. know if you saw the message above. I can always make you some Stargate 3D models if you need, though, although I focus on SGU models currently. Well, cool, this SGU stuff's great, too. Are there schematics or blueprints uh, for the full-size gate? Um... It's called uh, Rotating Gate Version 2, I believe. It's by Glitch UK. If you look up Glitch UK Stargate, you will find it. Um, Captain Calvin Cat, good evening, and Gluck auf from Germany to you. If that, I don't know what that means. David, local doctor's design printed N95 mask, and the hospital is actually setting up three, three, three printing machines to make the masks based on his design. That's great, Pac Mom. I just, my issue with that was. I can't get validation on any of them. So if the hospitals want them, that's fantastic. Like, like, uh, I, like I, it seems like common sense to me that we should be able to print something. The thing that I learned that I was eye opening to me was that with a mask, the advantage of like a the advantage of a three D mask. So this is one that I, I mean, this is so old um, that I used when I was doing uh, any kind of carpentry or or um, uh, or sanding or stuff. So it's it's like I mean, this is probably just a a giant cup of bacteria at this point um uh you know i went to look to see if we had any that i could donate but they're all really old or already used so anyways the idea about these is that they they sit they seal around the face right so the nature of the design and the material means that it creates a seal um and with the 3d printed masks uh, unless there's some other material around it, I guess, that could hold it in place or that would that would make the seal, um, they kind of have to be designed specifically for face, specifically for each face. So that's why the fabric printed mask were the ones they were they were talking about first, because the fabric just naturally sort of it seals as you as you as you inhale type thing. Um, well, not seals, but it just does a better seal. Um, I saw a couple of 3D printed clips. That we're using material and then you would clip it in a certain way and it would create a mask but my concern there again was just whether they were there were sort of like there were large sort of openings where where different things could get in um but so i just yeah and this is something that that bad astronomer pointed out to me oh my god we had the best chat by the way bad astronomer if you want to go check out a really fun stream i did i guess i was bad he said he said I, he asked if i wanted to be the first guest on his on his new chat thing and i said i like being first um, so, uh, we had the best chat that of course, in true Hewlett fashion went way too long. I felt really bad. Like I'm racing in with like a minute to spare. So he was probably freaking out. And then I basically stayed for way too long chatting cause he's just, oh, what a great, it was just so great to talk to him. Um, so definitely go check that out. If someone's got the link to it, please, if they could post it, that'd be great because it's, uh, it's great. The plastic thing in front of the face. Great. What's going on? Uh, do you not know... We have Ven Mana Ironham TV, hold tilled and break stuff. What's that? What's Ve oh Vein Miner? Ve oh, we have Vein Miner. Wow, that's interesting. I concur. Conventions are fun. Yeah, I mean, conventions are just the whole thing about conventions is that that um, uh, the great thing about conventions is that it's a sense of community. I mean, the thing that I wasn't going to conventions at first, and I, my theory was, I was like, wait a sec, you know, like if I meet someone on the subway or something, I'm going to sign things for them. I'm not going to charge them for it. So why would I go somewhere and like have people pay for it? And, um, you know, I'm so cool. And then uh, we were having dinner with some friends in um, in Long Itchington in, in England, and um, 
and they're they're big convention goers. Like they they do a lot of this convention stuff, and and we're very good friends of um, of uh, Don Loman when when they were around, and uh, just lovely couple, really smart couple, and uh, and they said they sort of like they set me straight, and they said like look, you're not even. It almost doesn't matter if you're there or not. The point is, it's like you're like the entertainment at a at a wedding. It's nice to have you there that we can talk about having met you and stuff. But the reality is, we go to the convention because we want to hang out with people who have the same interests as me, um, as them. And uh, and I just thought that really put it in perspective. They said we're not idiots. Like we're not, you know, like if we don't want to pay the money, we don't pay the money. It's like it's not like anyone's forcing us to. So um, so shut up and go to convention so that you can make people's so you can make people's year that year. You know. So so I I definitely changed my tune on them and and. Uh, um, and I really like, this is it. I mean, I, I did a lot of them until I found that I was struggling with them until I found that it was beginning to feel like work as, as someone earlier said, I think it was a, a grumpy geek said, um, and um, then I felt like, you know what, I got I think I need to sort of step back for a little bit. And then I started doing the odd one now and again, I was going to do a couple this year. Of course I chose a great year for that. Huh? <laughs> Way to go, Hewlett. Um, but, um, but I really feel like being online like this, um, you know, I mean, I guess everyone's doing it now, but, 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 uh, but, you know, when I started, I felt like it was like, well, if I, if I put out my energy and the, and the, you know, my Stargate love online, maybe I can make up for the fact that I'm not at a lot of these conventions and stuff. And that I, you know, that, that like fan mail and stuff, I just, I got to the point where it was just, I literally, I just couldn't afford to send that many, <laughs> I couldn't afford to send that many photos back to people. Um, you know, and people would send me, uh, send me stuff with, 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 uh, um, with prepaid things that didn't work in Canada and it just became this logistical nightmare. So I just thought, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to concentrate on online where I could talk to more people um, and more one-to-one in a kind of a general way. And it just, it's been, a, I look, it's been amazing. I've really enjoyed it. So, um, yeah, I'm assuming, have we heard about FedCon yet? Thumbs Big Stupid? I'm assuming it's been pushed, right? Is that, um, they're talking about pushing it to July or something? July would be nice. My game is I mean, that'd be great. Ready. But I just don't, I just have no idea. Are we going to do conventions for a while? Like, I'm just nice. a little concerned that we may just back off on this stuff. Captain Calvin Cat, you don't understand what. Does that mean hello? Tech Bandits, Iron Hand. Gluck auf means good luck. And it was the customary greetings to coal miners. Yeah, I'll bet. Tulips for you, Bass. That's nice. You got tulips. <laughs> uh, what do we got? My grad school gift to myself is going to be my first sci fi convention. It must. Have SGA actors though, maybe GateCon. What is GateCon? Is GateCon happening? I don't even know what's happening anymore. Um, it is super heartwarming to find out you stream and interact as much as you do with your fans as you do. Oh, thank you, King Fluffles. I feel like it's it's literally the least I can do. <laughs> well, and also, you know, I think people think like it's it's not sorry folks, it's not for you. It's also for me as well, right? Like I I enjoy this stuff and Baz really enjoys this thing. And he's you know, I think it's what's interesting about um about my having a kid and, and the whole tech bandits thing is I, I feel like uh, it's uh, this is kind of our bonding time too, right? I mean, yeah. when we play together. Um, we do have to play some uh, some Fortnite at some point. Oh, that's the other thing. Um, so I'm going to talk to um, the uh, the fabulously brilliant and really very good teacher, I might add, um, uh, James Gurney. Uh, tomorrow, is today Sunday? Yeah. Okay. So tomorrow... Uh, Sorry, I think we're going to have like a, a, a breakfast stream with, well, not breakfast, it'll be late, um, uh, but like a, a morning stream of Minecraft with um, with James Gurney, or maybe we'll play Fortnite, I don't know. But uh, the idea is to discuss, um, uh, is to discuss careers. And I want to start doing this thing called Great Games, and it was sort of inspired by uh, Let's Talk Science, because they've got a, they're very focused on teaching people about career possibilities because once you know that there's a career between things you like you might actually pursue that and there's you know it's sort of an inspiration i think moving forward so i was very taken with that the steam sisters also do this they're Aww. amazing too in fact i should get them on as well i wonder if i can anyways point being is i'm going to talk to james gurney about his job as a virus scientist so to speak um i still don't know the actual term i should really make him i could nail him down on what that term is um, and, uh, so I'm just basically going to go through what, uh, Let's Talk Science outlines as the sort of the key things that they want to know about people's careers, but in a kind of a fun gaming environment that the kids might actually enjoy, that <laughs> the kids might actually enjoy more. So, um, I thought we'd just do some Minecraft, bumble around doing that while we chat about his job and, uh, his sort of, his perspective on it and his education and all that kind of stuff. He's kind of neat because he's actually bounced around through, through a few different things before he sort of ended up on viruses. But he, boy, he loves his viruses. So, um, anyways, is that? Um, 
if you want a private server, what is what is the private server? What would the private server be for, VSTAT? And Captain Calvin says, well, according to the FedCon homepage, it's still happening. Well, good, great. I mean, look, I hope it does. That would be that would be amazing. Uh, Harklight says it's Saturday. Is it Saturday? Yeah, yeah, it's a Saturday. You said it was so. Sunday, didn't you? No, I said it was Saturday. Oh my God, we've got to the point. Oh my God, I've got to that point. I've got to that weird Twilight Zone where I don't know what day it is. Who are you? What? Is this my house? Oh my gosh. Wait, did I What's actually that? Did say Stargate Sunday? end? I think yeah, did you, you say Sunday? Sunday? Um, Iron Hand, what so do you think dumb. of duck pizza? Oh, you know the oh funny my God. thing. Didn't we have some sort of duck we pizza? We did have a duck pizza. Well, I find duck difficult, shall we say. I don't know why. There's something I like it when it's crispy. Crispy duck. duck oh. Is good. But when it when it's sort of like done as a steak, I find not steak's the wrong word, but you know, whatever they are. I find that difficult. Um, although my mouth is watering at the thought of food right now, I gotta say. You should go warm us up some pizza. It means just you playing. and him, so it's zero bother, and you can focus on gaming and talking. Oh, maybe that's a good Crispy idea then. Hey, DStat, if that's okay, then maybe there is. If you what wouldn't is, mind, what's a good idea? like have a separate server that I go and do my my career chaps on, so it could be like the great job server. Does that make sense? Oh, sure. And then if, or do you want to do it on yours? I'm just said like we we made the server just mainly because as well as me. Well, and Basil will be around too, so maybe so. No, you know what? Don't bother. Don't bother. Let's try it on this one, and um, if it gets weird with other people, I mean, people are very respectful, so you know. Um, this <laughs> Captain gave Calvin me climbing gloves. I'm not what, gonna take them. But. What is this cap? What is this duck pizza? Says Captain Calvin Cat. Uh, duck cutlets. Ugh. And yeah, I'm not a big... Duck not a big is usually good. Fumbles make stupid. What are you saying, Nom Nom? Um, really, Pac Bum? I'm not sure I'm feeling the love for crispy duck pancakes. Oh, are you nuts? Oh my God, they're the best. It's crispy duck and you wrap them in little pancakes with a little sweet stuff on it. Oh, man, it's good. Um, I've never had that. Uh, hello, triple X slider quadruple X. How are you doing? Welcome. There's a bunch of people here I haven't seen before. Slider, have you been here before? I don't think you have, have you? Um... You know, I should tweet and say that I'm on, shouldn't I? Is that? Yeah. Yeah, I guess I should. I don't have my phone. Where's my phone? Did I bring my phone down? Um, let me let me wander off and get my phone. Bas and also, while you wander off, you could make us pizza. You can warm it up. Boy, that'd be fun. Yeah. I could do that, though. Just nuke the pizza for a couple of minutes yeah. and then bring it down. Or it's better when it's in the oven, though, don't you find? But Beh. I like it. You like it nuked? I like it nuked. All right, I'll nuke the pizza for a minute. David seems very excited about them, though. What's this? Nuke the pizza. <laughs> I'm excited about food. You know, that's the thing. I know, never nuke pizza, right? Fumbles make stupid. That's my feeling as well. Duck pancakes. Pac Mom, I'm excited about food. Like that. Generally, you just mentioned food. I'm there. Um, hey, Pac Mom, when are we talking? Are we talking on? Uh, did I ask you? Did I email you about Wednesday? Is, would Wednesday work for for doing a, a great job about uh, dental hygiene? Uh, not, to, not about dental hygiene. Please don't tell me how to brush my teeth. That's one of my biggest annoyances when I go to the dentist where they go like, now do you know how to properly brush your teeth? I'm like, yes! You, you tell me every freaking time! Same with my dad. Um, Karem's heading off to bed. All right. Hi, Karem! Cross your, everyone cross your fingers that Karem sleeps well. All right? Sleep well, Karem. You gotta be up early tomorrow. But don't think about the early morning. How do you get to sleep? How do you sleep? I don't know. Yeah, sleeping's difficult. Anyways, last year on FedCon... I was city guide for Tom Ellis. Fedcom is an amazing place to work. Oh, that's good. That's good. I really enjoyed Fedcom. Um, you, th you throw a nuclear... Ah, I said, I said it wrong. You throw a nuclear bomb on a pizza? Uh, best yeah. series, Stargate Atlantis. You're going to fit right in, Slider. Right in. But are you... Now, is Slider because of Sliders? Did you watch that as well? Or the dreaded question. Slider from Animal Crossing? The dreaded question. Do you always floss? I, I love flossing. I've like got, but I've loved flossing only now that they've got those little. I mean, I'm sorry about the environment, but they're like little pla plastic hook things. And you just go, oh, so great. Um, oh, hold it, said Pac Mom. What's going on, David? I got a wide open schedule. Oh, what is that? Oh, hold it. What does that mean? Wednesday might be an issue. I chose the one day of your week that sucks for you. Anyways, look, we can go back and forth in email, but I'm throwing that out there as a, as a suggestion. O'Neill Ford, hey guys, I found a cool Stargate model with a glowing Death Star as the event horizon. That's cool. I'm nice. going to send it to you guys in Discord or is this is there in this chat? Uh, send it in the chat and we'll, then everyone can see it. That would be great. My dentist says, no, those plastic thingies are not good. Oh, Captain Calvin, don't tell me that. Surely it's better than nothing. 
Yes, yeah, Slider from the series. I knew it. See? Uh, anyone who's into sci-fi who's got Slider in their name has got to be Sliders. I used to like that show, i got to say. It's sort of fun silliness. Um, Iron Hand. David, my autism superpower is computers. Oh, that's cool, Harklight. Oh, Harklight, yeah, you were talking about PC parts and building PCs and stuff, right? Um... Uh, where on the spectrum are you? Uh, 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 what have I got? I've got ah, scrolled off again. Heart life, forty-two. What sort of where? It, sort of what sort of area of the spectrum are you on with autism? What's your what's your uh, you know what what do you find uh, what do you find difficult? What do you what do you? I mean, if you find computers, you like computers. That's that's uh, man, that'd be fun. Um, all right, what do we got? Uh, what do we got? Here we go. This is the glowing. Okay, so O'Neill Ford has sent us the glowing Stargate. That's, oh Half man. Burger. Oh, that is pretty. That really is. That is really very pretty, I gotta say. Is it a 3D printed base as well? Is the base of it printed? I almost feel like is I don't want the stairs. I, find, I know this is weird, but. Uh, yeah. I find I don't like the stairs as much. I, I like the Stargate, but the stairs always, for some reason, when it tries to do rocks and stuff, it doesn't work as well. I have liked it with some cool brickwork, but I'm telling you that, um, I'm guessing they've done a laser cut on the Plexi, because, oh, laser cutter. I gotta, I feel bad. I gotta bug that company again, but of course, they're, they're probably, like, having, struggling at this point, because of, because uh, of the virus and stuff, and I'm assuming most of their printers comes from, come from, um, Comes from uh, China as well. So, although China's going to be starting up soon, I think China's going to get a great head start out of this. Um, I'm kind of embarrassed how many times I've watched SGA and SG One. King Fluffles, then, then you have nothing to be embarrassed about here because I guarantee you, everybody here has watched it way too many times as well. Nice cam. Oh, you like it? Oh, I haven't set up the uh, Avenger Rising. What am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah. I'm so sorry. I let the side down. Oh, I watched it. Uh, I'm going here. Let me get a little bit of an event horizon. Oh, really? What? 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 Say what? What? What's going on? Because I'm trying to watch this dude make it. Dude? But he's really bad at teaching me. About how to uh, do what? How to build a Stargate? How to build what? Smear thingy. What the is it? Smelter furnace. I'm pretty a, sure you're using like seared bricks. To oh my god, you've really... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You've really moved along. Yeah. Hello. Jack Jasper, I'm not on oh, Discord. I don't know why. I can't be oh, both with my glasses on. All right, hey, Jack. <laughs> Come into my basement. Sorry, that's, a, that's really weird. <laughs> oh, it's, cre it's creepy. Jack's back. Okay, that, 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 was, that was actually me. That was I me. Know, that was I know. Me. Don't I'm blame just, Jack for that. I'm just YouTuber bugging Jack. Uh, Jack is just fun to tease. It's really cool. All right, what we got? So I'm gonna connect to our Stargate. Oh, here. was that Cal? Oh. Did I hear a meow? Meow. <gasps> <gasps> I'm sure. Well, what was oh, that? Tinker's construct. I love Tinker's construct. I'm just trying. I'm so confused on how to do it. I okay. don't know what okay. I'm doing. There you go. I'm going to get a okay. light show going. There you go. So I got a light show going as well. Uh, paper clips. That's awesome. Oh my yeah. god. Uh, yeah, isn't it beautiful? Someone okay. use a bed, please. please a lost connection please in the middle of the forest. Me. I will give you a home if you teach me how to use this. Oh, cool. Yes. Sorry, I'm very ADHD. <laughs> very okay. squirrel. Um, Where's like space uh, above and beyond? I don't think I ever saw that. You're saying it got toasted okay. by by uh, How do you like by that? sliders? Interesting. <gasps> Interesting. I, I love it. I, I noticed it. Unicorn. Yeah, I noticed it because I saw the German uh, the, the flag. <laughs> I thought it was really cool. But really, so back, mom. So you don't like? Well, we could talk about this on our stream. But um, so you oh, don't like wait. the little things either. I like the little things. Come on, uh, I'm here in the UK. There's no spectrum. It's called autism. Oh, may I borrow that? Um, oh, really? Okay. So it's just every like autism is autism so, uh, basically. Jack, That's, uh, how many high does it have to be? Malve is out of here. Got to forage for food. Good luck, Malve. Be safe. How are you holding up, by the way? How's your friend? Hope they're all right. I have to forage for food. Um, <laughs> Jack, Jack, teach me. Backbone. I found that those plastic things are the only thing I can use. That's it. That's with me. Oh. But like really? I just I I just prefer those little plasticky <gasps> things. Oh, so how how high? Oh. So how high do you guys use? Believe me, them? Eli Wallace. I think I've tripped a few times on those stairs because they had those weird. They had us in these weird boots as well that didn't. Too high. They were more so like hiking boots than they were in, inside boots. Um, whatever happened to all the props in the TV show? Somebody tell Five versus Willie what happened to all the props because I think we talked about that yesterday. No. Didn't we? Um, basically, they got uh, sold off. There's a lot of. They were auctioned off. There was a huge auction of Stargate stuff. 
Um, with Universe, I think it was such a sudden end. I don't know how much stuff got auctioned off and how much stuff got actually just shredded. I was my big complaint was that the the industry tends to just destroy things um, when they're finished with them. So, what are you guys talking, Pixie Rose? Where are you guys talking? What do you mean? Uh, we're talking in streaming voice chat. Oh, you should add uh, Pixie Rose then. Oh, we should. Yeah, we should. Sorry, Pixie. I mean, if people are on the server, they might want to be on your Discord with you. I. Oh, of course, I can't hear them, so I don't know if I'm talking over people. Uh, this is a burn on there. Um, I hate it. Hey, if Pixie. people are working... Wait, wait, I was gagged. Well, this is no fun. Uh, Captain Calvin Cat, you gotta talk to, you gotta talk to Pac-Mom then. I mean, she'll tell you all, she'll tell you how to get a good dentist. Eli Wallace, those O'Neill bars I linked in my picture are yes. in the PropWorks auction book. Yeah, that's it. So, was it PropWorks that did most of them? No, the Ugly Beast, it is. Work. It's not even freaking sad. It's freaking disgusting. <laughs> I like yes. the fact that they don't. You got it. They don't recycle yeah. the stuff. I mean, I was talking yesterday. Like I've got nice. a couple little things that I picked up as I went along, um, and I'd love to recreate some more of these sconces because at some point I'll pull off the camera and I'll drag it up so you can actually see the detail on it. But it's just, it's really just little bits of of tubing and um, some copper piping and that kind of stuff. So it's you know, it's it's a uh, it's a nice little system. Seventy minutes. That was the burn and learn. Seventy minutes. You did 70 minutes? Oh, no, I didn't do 70 minutes. What am I saying? I thought you did... Uh... Yeah, I did 50 minutes. Yeah. I did five zero minutes, but I upped to seven on the, uh, oh, on the really? resistance. Oh, you went up to seven? Yep. Not, Damn shredding. Yeah, I heard they do that. Big. You know, it's because oh, they don't okay. want people using it in their um, own, in other sorry. movies because it diminishes the value of it. Um, one sec. I'll, agreed. I'll, At least you have a few stuff. keepsake items from uh, set. Uh, D-Stat, uh, what's your in-game name? Isaac? The pod? Vanilla Coxilla. Any numbers? I'd rather do some talking on Discord no. without playing because I don't um, have the game. No. Do that. Can you add in Manila Pugzilla to the server whitelist? Manila Pugzilla. Sorry, we have a whitelist just so. Is that our pug? Random people. Is that Isaac? Isaac is in the voice chat as oh, well as Pixie, uh, Kellyer, and Jack. If you want to talk. Uh, what am I, Zenas? What am I good for? Oh, the forty-five minutes. Yeah, uh, fifty minutes. Yeah, it's um. So like I say, if I can start trying to do it like every, I'd love to be able to exercise every day because I think that's a that's an easier yeah. habit to get into. Then I just feel bad if I don't do a day. Um, but uh, but slider, I'm good, thank you. Yeah, we're like as I was saying, like I've sort of did we? I did people respond? I didn't actually get a chance to. I guess I I think the, the chat probably went past it. But how are people finding this whole like being online, being available all the time? I all of a sudden I feel like. I never stop doing meetings or podcasts or like, I feel like I'm always doing something like everyone's gone online and live. Everyone wants to talk about online education. Now everyone wants to do tech bandits. It's kind of, uh, yeah, it's kind of amazing. I mean this, I find this a little more relaxing. Um, you know, Oh, uh, Tana, where, where's our, um, I Bob Carn. So you find it a bit overwhelming. It's, I, one of the things I was sort of saying was I feel like because, all of the hours have shifted now. People are working at all different hours. And and unlike nerds like me, who's always, like I've always done this to some extent, um, other people are finding, are trying to find that, like, wait a second, how do we, when does work stop and, uh, and life begin? Where's the, how is our work-life balance? And I've always sucked at work-life balance because frankly, work is my life. Like I, you know, whether it's the streaming stuff or the, or the tech bandit stuff, or the acting stuff, or the writing, whatever, whatever I'm involved in at the time, that's my life. I, you know, that's what I like. All of my friends are in the film industry because growing up, that's what all, that's all I was doing. Um, you know, um, so uh, working from home is the future. I've done it for years, and it makes more you, you more productive. I agree, Eli Wallace. I think that this whole showing up at work doesn't mean anything, uh, but but just getting the work done. Used to work online with a seven day work week, so paper clips is on it as well. I mean, the fact of the matter is, anybody who's on Twitch right now, chances are you probably have a pretty good understanding of, Isaac, of the online thing. Um, phone was mixed too, but I don't like it much. I don't usually look at my phone much, but now I have to because my students keep wanting me and my family worry if I don't get back to them. Yeah, that's the other thing because I do feel like, you know, everyone keeps doing these like huge, like, here's an update. And I'm like, oh my God, I don't have time to read another freaking update. <laughs> Um, um, what mods are being used on the servers? Legitus, if you... called Enigmatica 2. Download the mod pack on Twitch. <laughs> there you go. So, it's, uh, if you get the Twitch app on your computer, you can then download the Enigmatica 2. And then you have to send us your... 
And then send um, us your in-game names so that you a uh, Minecraft uh, handles so that you can be whitelisted. How's that? Yeah. Like? A little complicated by the sound of it. Um. um uh, Kelly, Bob Carter, I'm still working, still so now I'm adding this to a full day because I love it, but it's getting to be a bit much. I know it's weird, isn't it? Like, I mean, Maybe this is good. as I say, like the 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 burn and learns for me is it's not it's not work. It's 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 kind of like it, it's sanity for me, um, and um, and also I just I really love the fact that people will say like, hey, you know, I got on the torture device last night because yeah, I saw your burn and learn or whatever. Oh. Um, okay, send it to me on Discord. Okay. Your oh, Minecraft Jack, name if you want a whitelist ad, play, but the vanilla um, is open to anyone. So D on top of these as well. D stat is yes. the guy. He's the guy who runs and the server. Do so. you just put a seared bricks all over? Yeah, you can. You um, can put. Anything. Captain, 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 I did home office. Yeah. But what, uh, how do we get the stuff out of it? I try to tell um, people this. You go to a job. You do work every day. Do you have some um, seared drains already? Yeah, I mean this is it. No. I like. Okay. Do I need to make we those? need. We need at least. As a, I've been self-employed okay. since I was okay. 16 years old, basically. So with acting, I've always never known where the next paycheck was going to come from. Um, I've been very, very lucky. I, you know, I've, I haven't had to wait tables. Wake tables. I haven't had to have other jobs. Um, the only other job I took was because I, I wanted to do, I wanted to do IT for a while. So I, so I did it. So I was really lucky in that regard as well. So, um, you know, and now I'm really focusing on this education stuff. And funnily enough, I start focusing on education a few years before this happens. And now people are asking me about how to do the education thing. So I don't know. I mean, which is really funny to me because I, I'm a high school dropout. Like I, I, so, you know, I'm, I'm entirely self-educated. I love, love, love learning. I find everything exciting. Um, but, I, but I can't, I, I, I can't do traditional education. I just, I think it's like a, it may be related to ADHD. I've got a, I don't, when I, someone tells me to read something, I, I read something else, um, you know, base. but, and, and I've only been recently diagnosed so with that, so old. I don't know how much of it played with what, me what, growing uh, up, but, okay, but no, honestly, I, have those super I feel like, Sorry. I, I feel oh, like the whole ADHD, Thanks, the old, yes. the whole ADHD thing um, is a, is a, is a, is a, is a, is a, um, is definitely oh, kind of a spectrum as well, right? Like some like. things, I have some things and not other things that fit the pattern, um, um but uh, as a result, I think of it like as a superpower because the reality is I don't just focus on one thing. I'm interested in a ton of different things. So you know, it makes it a little difficult for people to talk to me. But other than that, you know. Um, so what do we got? Home office was quite fun, but it depends on the job. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. It also depends on discipline as well. I mean, people were talking about how to write. And I was saying, like, if you can write 15 minutes a day, you're, you're like, you're writing. But sometimes it's just getting, just uh, sitting Jack, down for that 15 minutes. Yes. Are these the things? Yes. Um, he needs seared faucet and smeltery drain with a casting table okay, basin below the faucet. We need all those I linked the there. cemetery wiki on the Discord. All these? Did you get that? Yes. There's a cemetery Discord on the, on the a link what on the Discord. Wood? If what you need, you mean? for doing the, um, the casting table basin and stuff, the smeltery drain. Oh, I, I'm good. I'm good. You got it? Okay, great. I, I've, I've, I'm making it. Yeah. When I was a tech consultant, me, and I'm neither Meredith McKay nor Angus MacGyver or Sam Carter, I loved the telephone part. I hated that I had so little time. Was that so little time no. uh, for, oh, okay. for a customer? Oh, I see. So you just didn't have time to talk to the customers. Yeah. Um, an inspiration to us all. Truly, who's this? Who's the inspiration? Me? Not me. God, please not. Um, uh... Okay. J-Flex, no. David, if you okay. brought back Atlantis, would you play McKay again? No. Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. Um, or McKay's grandfather, and they could bring in another young McKay. Although, no, I'd hate that. No, I like to play McKay. Um, what do we got? Uh, Xenos. Merch. Legitus. Did I see? Wait a second. Did I miss somebody in there? Did I just see? I have a lot of seared bricks. I'm confused. Did I miss... Uh... Oh. Oh, yeah. Did I miss a 3D printer in there? Did I? I think I thought I saw like a. I'm <laughs> so confused. I think I brought a little too much seared okay. bricks. I just like the rip off a sweet. I thought I recognized a. A, a, a name. Uh yeah. An inspiration to us oh. all truly. Here, um, okay, what do we got here? Uh, someone says David the Yes, got that. I am currently doing my own Minecraft, so maybe later I will get on. All right, Legitus, very good. Don't let us disturb your own Minecraft. You know, you can listen to us droning on in the background. Uh, Eli Maybe. says, same, I did I sound know. design for uh, yeah. years, and now I sell vintage and antique collectibles and toys, much less stress. Oh, and so much fun. 
Any cool stuff you like? What's your What's your like favorite? Do you have any like sort of favorite antique collectibles or toys you want to show us? Yes. There. Um, well, I've been a writer all my life, partly due to being a caretaker uh, through my first marriage. Okay. Now I'm limited this to game writing and streaming. Well, it's again. still a pretty good combo, oh. isn't it? Okay. Um, can someone tell me what channel the voice chat is on Discord, please? You can. Uh, it should be in the um, in the instructions. But I think if you do, isn't uh, you it? Put if you do like an exclamation mark Discord, it should tell you. Yeah. Discord. But we need lava. Did that work? Uh, so should yeah, I there you go. some buckets? So there you go. There's the uh, yes. there's the link for you. So here, uh, do you still have your slime slime? Uh, yes, I do. Um, yeah, is there so anything you didn't I'll... get to do as McKay you oh, wish you'd wait, done the what? chance to do? Yes, Fumbles. We were talking about this the other day. Um, Baz up. can play a young McKay. Mm. He's going to be a scientist, not a not an actor. Um, um, uh, he's going to be whatever he wants, as long as it's not an actor. Um, what? Can someone tell me what channel you've done that? Baz, Young McKay. Is there anything you didn't get to do as McKay that you wish you had? Yes, Bad McKay. I think there should be an That's Evil what McKay. I said, yeah. Yes, Evil McKay. And then I think that for the reboot, we should totally do like Stargate Atlantis Academy, where the and then where I'm Atlantis. In it. And me, me and Isaac the Pug should be in it. Yeah, but you got to audition. Oh. Uh, okay. Couldn't um, we get like a free entering? No, it's like yeah. No free. Nothing Dad. free. No. In fact, I'm going to be even harder on you because you've got because of nepotism. What? Why? You can work. Uh, you guys can work at the crew. Um, the gets sure. do some real work. Uh, all right, what do we got here? Uh, is there anything? So yes, so I'd love to play an evil McKay because I think that'd be really fun. Um, and uh, so nice. that never really happened. I mean, he was always kind of a jerk. Now I want him to be like evil. <laughs> um, and then again, I love the idea of an academy approach to to Stargate. I think that'd be a great. That would be a great approach to it. All right, that's my little dream. Sorry, um, I'm really running out of space. Uh, Okay, indeed. I had four and a half minutes for one customer, and my customers had problems, um, and problems that I shall solve them in four and a half minutes, and even I didn't okay. understand what I was doing. What were you, so what, Captain Galvin Cat, what were you, what were you fixing for them, or what were you trying to work out with them? Miss Carol Z said, that's, uh, that's her with it, with, that's, that's me with ADHD. I love knowing and learning about which medications no, do what. Me. Being able to troubleshoot insurance issues. Dealing with patients is not my jam. Yeah, I mean, sometimes people, sometimes oh people are God. difficult. It's a slime sling, Isaac. I'll make you one later. <laughs> I love the work. It the pay so has fun. much to be desired. It is LOL. Awesome. Uh, this way again, Jack. Where are you? Huh? Here. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, DK Extra. Crap. Gotta gotta drop out. I'm a hope that I will be around for the next stream with from David Blue. Ugh. Two Davids. Oh, we need hey, some Jack. nicknames. Yeah, David, <laughs> and then the other David. Um, uh, thanks, Dexter. Thanks oh, for coming oh, by. Sorry, I just flew over your head. Uh, Jack, uh, just keep going to where I am. There should be a ravine. I like Mage Knight as far as toys go. Love playing them as a kid. Every weekend at the local comic store, we play yeah, Mage on me, Knight. Where I am? Then go to the back area for land party all night on Friday me, and Saturday like Fortnite. That's cool. How is the, um, how is oh. the audio, by the way? How are we doing on audio? Is it getting too cluttered? Because I don't know what they're saying on uh, on um, Discord. No, I, I don't think so. Because we're usually not talking when you are. Oh, really? Yeah, we don't. But I talk all the time. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> Fumbles make stupid. Point. Yes, mustache. That's Jack? for Guillermo del Toro. Jack. Pharmacy technician. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm just going to drop down here. Jack, where are you? <gasps> Have a good one, Dextro. Thanks for coming by, DK Extro. Very logical, David. Good job. Um, oh, sorry, Jack. I've already looted there. They oh. could be extras. Thanks, Zenos. Yeah, definitely. Really make them work. Um, I think we say background so we performers now. They don't, uh, extras apparently has like a, a negative connotation. Let's just jump it down here. Um, oh, I see. I want to see McKay in charge of Atlantis. Yeah, me too, King Fluffle. Uh, Pack bomb. I would love to see you playing Evil McKay in Star Wars Pilot in the Darkness. <laughs> Jesus. Louise. <laughs> there's, a, there's a... Boy, that's a nightmare of copyrights right there. That's, that's some fan fiction right there. Have you stayed in touch with Mr. Zelenka? Yeah, David Nickel and I talk every so often. Yeah, yeah. Um, he'll, um, he even drops by. We even meet up for coffees when he's in, in Toronto and stuff. So, um, um, although he's terrible with time. <laughs> he was like two hours late for our, for our, for our coffee. But I was, actually, I was playing I Magic the Gathering anyway. So. Uh, I see Baz moving into software engineering. He's like my youngest, loves gaming, coding games, natural transition. I hope so. It's hard to get him interested in the coding side of stuff. I mean, because there's, you know, I it's... I just don't get interested. My well, there's, I think there's like a, there's kind of a learned helplessness that happens, right? There's this kind of like, oh, I couldn't figure Sorry, it out, so I stopped, you know? My dad's teaching me coding. Um, like ah, Evil nice. Jackson, yeah. 
Sorry, Jack. I'm gonna uh, uh, head out so I can put this long. Miss Carol says, "How medication yes. supplies? Is there lots? And the pharma company's gonna be shortages? I don't get that. What's happening? I, I missed that stream. I think. Uh, I'd love to see how Evil McKay. Imagine how that works. Uh, what do we got? I like the audio. Classic, fast-paced McKay. Um, Calvin could have done it on purpose when we were at Bertley here. Um, Last heard, Mr. Brad Wright was working on a new Stargate and even... Oh, really? I didn't know that. And even something from Roland Emmerich, hopefully something is going to happen. Uh, well, I worked with Roland uh, on uh, Midway. And, um, and in fact, I'm going in for... Well, I'm not in it, but I'm going to be auditioning for another one of his films, I think. Um, but um, uh, I had heard that he was... That, they were, that MGM was talking to them again. But I hear talk about talking all the time, so... Who knows? Um, it'd be great if Brad... Uh, look, Brad, uh, Brad is, like, without a doubt, one of my favorite writers, basically. Um, so if he... I mean, he's just really, really good at character, so... Um, but, David, I talk all the time. True McKay fashion. Wraith McKay. There was a Wraith McKay in the book, apparently. Go a old McKay. Oh, that'd be wild. Yeah, yeah. Um... Read games for a while. That's so much work and long hours. Yeah. Eli Wallach. There you, you go. Get a lot of yeah. stuff. Got ugly. I like the spruce chest, but there is something what you was... can't mix an oak chest or a normal chest with any other type of chest. They don't turn into a double chest. What was UE4? Huh. Third Eye Storytelling. Yes. Yeah, that's what I find really good. Is that Unity? Hmm. Dad, remember when you thought Captain Calvin was a bear? I... Was cap was I thought what? Remember when you thought a cow was a bear? I did get confused. It's true. <laughs> it was an Angus bull, to be fair. Um, okay, Midway's available on DVD. Is it worth the watch? I have no idea, honestly. I hear it's a huge spectacle. Perhaps not the best. You know, I I don't know what it's like from a story and character standpoint. But apparently, it's this. It's like a spectacular. Apparently, I have yet to see it. I'm sort of ashamed to say that. Uh, what do we got here? Miss Carroll says lots of shortages. I referred to 2019 as the back order Mageddon simply because everything seemed to be on back order. Right now, the main items that are not available are the meds for COVID-19, um, azithromycin, um, uh, what is it, chloroquine, hydroxychloroquine, some of the HIV meds that are being used for COVID are also hard to get our hands on. Yeah, because people keep announcing that they're being used and um, whether they work or not on people. Um, and people are like self-medicating oh, that stuff, yeah. which seems crazy. Unreal Engine. Oh my god, Eli Wallach. The Unreal Engine is beautiful. They're using it in TV now as well. In fact, you know all of the... Um, it was all of the Mandalorian stuff. If you look at the behind the scenes of the Mandalorian, they were shooting in these light boxes um, that were made out of giant screens so that all of the light... So basically all of the generated sets and stuff that were going to be added later were projecting the right light and reflections on like, oh look, you can hold a glass up and it'll reflect the tattooy, um, you know, uh, suns behind you or whatever it is. So, uh, Well, guys, who would win? Go old or race in an all or out nothing fight? All right, leave that to you. Wraith. Oh, your doors are weird, Bass. Not yeah, I think old, probably Wraith. Like yeah. It's uh, because um, they're uh, Pinkwood. I love Pinkwood. Uh, hey, Jack, you good? Yes. Sorry, you were just standing still in a very inconvenient spot, and I thought you had to submit the draft. Wow, Drauthauer. So, hello from Germany. Hello back. Uh, and welcome, by the way. Uh, what have you got there? I didn't play Minecraft for a long time at the moment. Math, C++, physics, especially Einstein's work, takes more than enough time, but it's extremely know, interesting. Right? And if I have There's some time to play, I play World of Warcraft them. and Day Z. Like What's Day Z? Um, is that like a zombie thing? Good. Uh, yeah, C++, I, I just did a whole LinkedIn learning on um, C++. You Amazing language. Love it. Yeah, I play Daisy all the time. Suck. Have you seen the Lumberyard yeah. engine yeah. from Star Citizen? Right. No, I haven't. Ha. Huh. Uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah, that would be fun, wouldn't it? You guys want that? You have to go. Oh. Wraith or Ori? Pfft, Wraith. Um, oh, Borg. It's almost night. I don't know. I think the Borg would probably... God, because then you get a Wraith Borg, then you're really screwed. Jack, how many more um, buckets? Oh, I think maybe map. Borg on that one. Um, okay, now oh, I feel wait, sick. You need half a pizza. <laughs> Harklight, did you just... No. Was it all that uh, <laughs> all that duck pizza get you? Um, Cybermen. 
Again, I think a cyber wraith would be kind of creepy, so probably Cybermen on that one. But again, uh, I don't know. Who would win, Daleks or Cybermen? I have no idea what you Well, want. Cybermen can walk, so I'd go with them. But Daleks are wheeling around everywhere. I know, but Daleks uh, would be able to, like, zap, zap in the face, face, and then they die, die. Yes, J Flex. I'm watching Picard, and I'm going to watch it, and I'm going to binge it. Borg, there's no life for the wraith you take. Ha. Daleks by a mile? You think so? Maybe. 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 Um, doiki doiki baka, hello! Uh, you know, I still haven't tweeted that we're live streaming, aren't we? Uh, I gotta go find my phone. I'll be back in a minute. I will and also, I may, pizza. I may return the pizza. pizza. We'll see. Pizza. 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 Alright, please feel free to talk amongst yourselves. Pizza. Yeah, please talk amongst yourselves. No, you talk about Whose house is this? I want to know. One, it's mine. No, it's a really, really good oak house. I wanna, I'm just gonna explore this house. I'm not gonna take anything or anything. Wow, someone exploded in this house. Whose house is this? Fumble McStupid is getting hungry now. <laughs> How do I open the map? Press J. You must be wearing at least one piece of chiseled armor to open the chisel mark on the floor. I think it's J. I just pressed J. Maybe is that, is that your key bond? Okay, I'm just pressing every single button. Probably not a good idea. Really? Uh, who would win? The Borg, the Dalek, or the Gwold? I don't know who the Borg are, so I can't answer that. Oh, yeah, then I don't know. Oh, I, I, there you go, the map work. So Baz, how am I today? I am amazing. I did my SLI, so now I'm not scared about anything. I mean, like, run about anything that I haven't done over the holiday, except for choosing a book. I have to choose a book. Whoa, there's like purple leaves. Oh, there's a flying pickaxe. There is? Yeah, well, I just took it. What? There was a flying wooden pickaxe. That's really weird. I agree, Baz. You are amazing. <gasps> oh! I don't know if you want something, but okay. <laughs> Thank you it's so shocking. much. I am amazing. I know. I play Minecraft and stream with my dad. Can anyone get any better? Besides, eh, actually... Oh, 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 I'm in a really bad temple and I'm really scared, so I really hope Jack Jasra, if I ever get in some sleep. All right. Pizza? <clears throat> Is pizza here? Nope, but don't let me forget. In 10 minutes time, I have to go up and take it out of the oven. I couldn't do the it. The oven? I couldn't nuke it. It just seemed wrong. Yes, we do have to watch Star Trek. Baz, will we watch Star Trek? What, what? Will we I'm watch Star fire. Trek? Maybe we fire. should oh, do no. live simulcast of oh, Picard. Oh, <gasps> oh, that could work. What? What do you want? We could watch Picard together. Star Trek Picard? I couldn't nuke it. I couldn't nuke it. It just didn't make any sense. Um, all right. Now, what am I doing? I'm going to do... It's so easy. I'm posting a new tweet with a very sad face. <laughs> That's what I... I was going to post that face. There you go, everyone. You can see what I'm about to post. There you go. I thought I'd add a little animation. Well, people animation. are going to see the ending product yeah. as well. Um, if you're following him. What's that? Of course. What's what? What? Eat what? What? Mm, what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think I should be dissolving. Uh, can can Let's I teleport to someone? Uh, so I'm just doing my little. Base? I have this this app, uh -huh. which is kind of fun. Flash. It's called. I, uh, uh, I forgot what it's called. What's it called? It's called Evo Evo Pick or something. Evo Pick, uh, Evato Pick or something. Um, but it has all these like little different sort of. Uh, like animations Hello. and stuff you can play with. Hey Got a How certain amount doing? of freedom over what you can do with it. Oh, Not really seeing anything right now. Here goes a bigger, a bigger take oh, on okay. it. If I extend if you that, you have to do something. Go straight it's ahead. Make things dissolve. It's kind of fun. I need a lap. Um. Anyways, uh, oh, what do we sorry. got here? In fact, I should. Do you up know the any ideas where lava is? Like need more lava. And yes. maybe the size. There. Go bigger on that. Um, and then the density, even bigger than that. Oh what? yeah. Let's see how that works. Yeah. Your fingers feel 
tingle strang strangely <laughs> as just you right here. handle the crystal. <laughs> that's kind of cool. Come what down to the, yeah, that's the Tinker Forge. Oh, oh yeah. Sure. Just, it looks like it's coming out of my nose. It's kind of weird. I got an Ordo Vis oh. crystal. I have no idea what that is. Oh, wait. Is. Hmm. You got that uh, Ordo Vis crystal? Trying to get it to stop looking like it's creating the... It yeah, looks a bit like the stuff coming out of my nose. Oh, nice. Um, if I do this, would that be... Well, that's kind of cool. That could work. You see this on a minimap? Um, all right, yeah. so we could do that. Oh, and that's then that. I'm going to do what? Oops. Get over here. I'm going to make a mistake. Turn off all my phone. Right. Turn my... <laughs> right here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Is it over us? Um, there you go. I probably want to do this, don't I? All right. Fresh. I'm just going to set off this little tweet. Okay. I feel like I should add something else. Hmm. I think it's above okay. us. I, think I should add some more effects. It's either above or below uh, us. No, not more effects. I think I should add an overlay. Ah, that's what I want. A nice overlay. I hear it. Right. Uh, I'm letting Baz handle the hosting for the time being. Oh, GA, man, thank you. Keep an eye on it. I thought it was because CBS has a free trial month. Uh, just watching David make his Twitter post is hilarious. I take way too long on this stuff, just so you know. Um, Baz, what graphics card do you have? Yeah. I think it's listed in the front again as well. I don't get it. We have no masks. Oh, yeah. Miss Carol says, you know what I don't oh. get? We have no masks, but I have some at home. When I tried to use my own, I was told I couldn't because it would, might scare away the customers. Mm. I'm livid. Extra Definitely going to HR with this. Uh, uh, Miss Carol, no one sure. can be telling you not to wear a mask right I mean, now. A, Nobody. Uh, <gasps> Sorry, um, Jack! Hey, Miss Carols, try to get it in writing that they don't want you to wear a mask because it'll scare the customers. And uh, then you can put all your kids through college with the lawsuit. <laughs> I almost just slimed. Ooh, grilling dinner pack, Mom. Well, oh, for your hotas and onions and peppers. Amazing. All right, I got to find myself a uh, couple more neat little effects to add because I like to really overdo it with the effects and have, like, way too much. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, look at that. That's pretty yeah, good. I'm okay. Is copper or good? Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, if you give it to me, it's even better. I could smelt it down and then make more okay, of it. Okay, it'll work, sort of. Uh, 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 What's that? Yeah, uh, Ooh! That's kind of neat. Is aluminum ore good? Oh, All I right. think you can I'm doing that. that as well. This could so, be kind of yeah. fun, this one. All right. Um, okay. Man, you know, I know I should automate this to some extent, but it feels like I'm cheating. Like, if I don't do my own posts, or I don't, like, choose specifically what I'm going to say, it feels a bit like I'm cheating. And I know, I'm a big automation guy, I love that kind of stuff, but I, for some reason, it just feels kind of wrong. Um, all right, so let's get in here and say, um, okay. Oh, hello, say hello and say that we miss you. What's this? Who's going where? What? we wish we, we, we came. Who's that? What's this? Uh, uh, you hope so. you guys are good. Pug taken off? No, uh, uh, Isaac's mom was here. Oh, fantastic. Um, please send my love. Send all the lava. Send all the, my mm. pug love. Mom. Uh, Learn is done. David said um, hi. And already okay. streaming. Okay, okay. Now what do we do? What is this? Already live. What have you done? Come and join us. Um, although everyone's probably already here by now. Come and join us. Uh, but someone did mention that I should put the thing out, so I'm going to. Would you like a new graphics card? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, we don't have to send no, us graphics cards. One. I would love one, but we don't need one. Uh, I need one more than you do. You've got an old one. I, I he's, need No, one. he's got a 1080. Actually, no. I fully need no, one. No, do you have a 1080 or 1080? I got a 10, I got a 1070. 1070. I don't even have... You have like a 120. I don't even think it was. It's a. It's a uh, few years ago uh, generation of, on mine. You but, have um, a 360. Oh, uh, thank you. One second. All right, Devin, we're gonna, gonna do that. I'm gonna add my new image, it, like, which is psychedelic, man. Here, do you want to come into my? Uh, See what we think of this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> See what you think of this tweet. All right. Uh, if you guys need food, just ask me. I have tons of it. Oh. How do you make that slime? And thing? now we're live. And now. Aha. That. I will give you some cobble, uh, let's take some cobblestone and then let's go, but uh, follow me into my basement. Please, follow me into my basement. It'll Please. be amazing, trust uh -huh. me. Jack is already there. Yeah, happy. Jack's already there. So this of is course a he is. He's like standing there in a creepy way in the, ba in the basement. <laughs> okay. I gotta get on the Discord. What is this? 
What is this? I had to go on the Discord and see oh, and hear him laughing. Uh, all right, I tweet that. And oh, Jack, give me the give me the stuff. Then I have oh, to go you, to. Don't just been there. This is it. So this is the only problem. Is then I have to go to Instagram and I got to do that so that it goes to Facebook. Look it's like crazy. And Jewel is always the top of my thing. I don't know why, but she oh, always shows up. Is that the cast? Very good at showing up. Oh. All right, have I tweeted? Oh, sorry. I think everything's live and done, shared. Papa. Oh, and look at that. Can wow. Uh, click on the Millers are actually it's doing exercise. That's amazing. So I'm talking with my friends tonight at 7 o'clock. Uh, so I'm going to boot go. Baz off at 6.30, Here. so I've got time. Uh, Manila Pugzilla. Um, all right, what exactly? Put the stuff what do you think? into the smeltery. So right click on this. All right. And put the stuff in the smeltery. Oh, pizza. Oh. How's the pizza? Love cooking oh, and baking. Jack. Uh, I mean, not Jack. Uh, 80 degrees in Cincinnati. Other person. Uh, sorry. Uh, I forgot your name. Isaac. Isaac. I'm so sorry. Parklight, what are you um, doing with graphics cards? Go to your quest book. Yeah. Go to party. Oh. Thank you, Soda Crafter. Later sounds like fun. I will have to check that out. And you should see a, an invite oh, yeah. to the yeah. Ham Army. Mine is 11 for JFlex. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's miserable. We're, it's not bad today. It's like um, it's. Should we put some. It's like a miserable March day today. Snow, yeah. too. Oh, my gosh. We'll see you. It's, a, it's nice to be yeah. locked in then. 80 degrees in Cincinnati, that's wild. Oh, so now we have copper ingots. Um, I should probably bring some chests down here and then store all the stuff. Lovely today. But snow tonight. Ingots down ingots this, stuff. this looks really cool. All right, we're uh, going to... It's really complicated. To be honest, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, no. Yeah, D-Stat and Harklight are arguing over, over graphics cards. <laughs> oh. Oh, man, you two. Thank you so much. I, I'm really... All I'm going to say is, the only reason why I'm at all comfortable with people sending stuff right now is that it's, it's all being used for tech bandits. I Baz gets some advantages out of it for sure. I am sure I do as well. But the reality is that my focus is tech bandits. And so anything that we've got that makes that easier and helpful, fantastic. What are you doing with 20, 1080 Ti's, D-Stat? Isaac, take this. Those are yeah. amazing. Like, those are some... Oh, oh you were doing Sweet. Bitcoin, weren't you? Or something like that. Oh, pizza. Bye. <laughs> Wait, don't use it. Don't use it. Don't use it. Don't use it. Uh, here. Now, take this and equip those boots. Okay. Now, you're really bouncy, right? Yeah. But do you want to know the best part? What? Hold your slime sling and hold it to the floor. So like hold it, look at the floor for a very long time with right yeah. click, and now let go. Whoa! Just wait, and now you'll bounce. <laughs> That's what that does. And then if you angle it at an angle, you could shoot at angles. There you go. That's awesome, thank you. Oh yeah. Damn, this is awesome. <laughs> Num a uh, night has passed. Great. It's like better than a litra, because you just fling yourself. Yeah, and then uh eventually what's it called? A uh, paraglider, I think. Oh, there are jetpacks, I think. There is an angel ring that gives a you like flight. Yeah. Yes. Um That sounds awesome. Wait, so what happens to the copper I put in? Ah, uh, there we go. So we need a oh. Hello. There's a bunch of liquid in it. If you jump in there, blood gets into the smeltery. Uh, oh. pardon? Yes, that's what we were gonna watch it on. Yeah, okay, okay cool. I was making sure. Okay. Pizza, pizza pie! Really, really, really? Check it out to Mr. Huh? Everybody, please have a slice. Uh, let me get some napkins for you. Thank you so much, Dad. Pizza, pizza. Pizza, pizza. Pizza, pizza. Pizza, pizza. Oh, I want pizza too. You want pizza? Here, I'll get pizza. Yeah. I feel kind of bad that, that we're going to eat pizza in front of you, but you know what? I don't feel that bad. 
I have uh, pizza left. Okay. Pizza! Wow. So 50 with you guys like a few weeks ago for mine, no problem yeah. from it like you should. We'll no, drink. I know that the um oh, yeah? the whole uh, the whole uh, bit mining thing is, has has completely changed, doesn't it? Yeah. The electricity so costs like more than the bitcoins you get. And put one in yes. there. If it says oh blocks, you can let it out as a block. So many of those. Oh, oh and Jack, mm. look at stream. Like me, pizza the hot. Here. Here, here you go, Jack. Mm. <laughs> there you go, Jack. You have a bite. It's for you. There you go, but you know, Jack. Where you go? Can I have a bite? Yeah. <laughs> looks delicious. I'm sorry I'm not playing, but I'm quite enjoying just chatting with people. Do you oh, mind? Oh, that's good. All right, because right? we are playing, and I'm doing a lot of stuff that... What? Did David see my new Atlantis mm. uniform? Okay, this is what we do. So much fun. We went with, we went with um, traditional crust with pepperoni. Just like lots of pepperoni. We also then went with a deep dish, which is the ones that we really like. That's like the thicker crust there, that top one. Um, and that's vegetarian. Because um, then it's kind of like pretending we had a salad, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, now I have a copper box. Mm. Oh. So Zeno's... Well, Zeno's just ate a cheeseburger... McDonald's in front of us. Oh, that's good to know. Okay. Mm. Um, so, five versus Willie. Yeah, true. But I earned from Bitcoin since I sold them at the peak of the price, so I didn't lose any money and got out with great profit. Oh, that's good. Do we have to I mean, it's funny. Baz and I um, just sort of show Baz... No, if you follow me, I know a really good place to get those. To show Baz how that stuff worked without getting him into the oh, whole sort iron. of... Should I say sort of almost oh, gambling? Oh, um, and you have your slime sling, like, um, right? I set them up with yeah. like one, Here. like a like fifteen That's bucks worth or something, slings. and we just watched it go up and down oh, and up and down. So it's kind of fun to check every so often. I want you still pickaxe. I'm good. Hello, German Trekkie. How are you? Anything, so Welcome to our stream of <laughs> madness. Oh. Whoa! Put him in lost five hundred thousand dollars. Wow. <gasps> Isaac, you have a really nice little house next to mine. Oh, I love it. Well, we'll be able to make a town. Here's an interesting thing, Captain Calvin yeah. Cap. Whether Bitcoin will come be a thing again or not. Um, guys. We don't want to send money around anymore. So, Mellow Pugzilla, you know how to move quickly, right? No one's going to want to send. Well, no one's going to yeah. use cash, are they? I mean, but they're going to take so, cash in half the stores. Um, now. follow. Uh, you know. Uh, so what are you been up to, German Trekkie? I'm assuming, German Trekkie, that you've watched all of Picard now. No spoilers, because I'm going to make Baz watch the whole thing. Yep, sure. Mm -hmm. But has he seen any TNG? Oh. What's TNG? He didn't want, so he didn't get out fast Next enough, generation. I see. <laughs> I grew mm -hmm. up watching it with my dad, so I guess... Pack Mom, a lot of the stores are not taking cash here. Um, or they're having cash just at one till with oh, better protection, I think. Is a bull? Why am I flying? Mm. Oh, I'm not flying anymore. Hello, Lulu. Lulu seventy four. Hmm. <laughs> what is it? What do you said? Um. I love pizza. Me too. Pizza is my spirit animal. What is this? What, sorry. What are you not saying? <laughs> I have, but I'm not my saying. Spirit, my spirit animal. My spirit animal's a grug. Oh, you know, German Trekkie's working on their book. show. It does nothing all day except for um, like literally does nothing all day. And then it dies. Yeah, yeah, that, that's that's right. Died at the end of the day. Yeah, pretty much. And then like it responds, and then yeah, Pac Mom, another... I think I gave you the wrong idea. It's not that they wouldn't take cash. It's oh, that no, they had oh, a special no. oh, no. a special oh, no. uh, lineup that was just for cash because they were worried about you know about. Oh, this dude, whole I would get out of back. there. Yeah, gloves makes more sense. Oh. And Jack, you wanted aluminum, right? Thank you, German Tracky. Uh, tin, tin and uh, iron. Tin and iron. So the two ones I don't have. Okay. <laughs> oh, Zenos. What Sorry, does tin remind me, Zenos, where are you? That you've got stuff on the shelf? We do as well, but there was no toilet paper, no paper towel, no hand sanitizer, no hand soap stuff. Any of that tin. stuff. Tin. Is this tin? Oh, I found tin. Oh, you like wallet. You're welcome. Past week would be much better watching you and Bluestream. Oh, yeah. oh, good, 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 good. Something that probably might not have happened otherwise. Um, oh, dude, follow me. What? Um, what? Look. Oh, wait. The Twitch thing. So we've been doing the Twitch thing now for nine uh, months. You can use magic when you get use those. 
Don't oh, forget to eat that pizza months. that I went to all the trouble of cooking. Wow. Yeah, wait, it is already nine months? Ooh, time flies by. Huh. Wow. Uh, Isaac, nine follow me. My right. We've been Cincinnati, for, for nine okay. months. So. Really? Yeah. yeah. There's no there's no shortage of stuff. There is a shortage of common where, sense where with people go going out and buying everything oh, off the shelves when they see uh, it. Don't worry. Just keep exploring. Let's get some iron and then we'll be able to get better stuff. Has it been nine months, Captain Calvin? How long have we been streaming for? Uh, probably. Uh, quite. Not that. I don't know. Maybe. Oh. Do you play Minecraft but in survival mode? Are we in survival mode now? We are in survival mode. This is survival mode. Even though I haven't died yet. <laughs> Drow Powler. How are, how are, boy, I can't remember. Drow Powler. Um, tomorrow, I will have to work from 6 o'clock to 2.30 a.m. When my colleague is in there to talk about Stargate, he knows every episode. Typically, we haven't to work at night, but Corona drives Germany crazy. Wow. Where are you That's working, Drow Power? I mean, not specifically, oh, but what, what are you working in? Right. What's your, what is your field, shall we say? Aluminum pickaxes are good. Holy. Mmm. I like turkey sandwiches. What was that? It's true. Jack, uh, Amazing how uncommon common sense is. Uh, what are you? Sorry, uh, sorry. Yeah, Zeno, you've been here since August. That makes sense. Isaac. Uh -uh. What is that noise? Huh. What is that? Um... Look, I think, uh, I yeah, but no. I mean, Ro sorry, Harklight, uh, um, Ronan hugging me, yes, in the script, for sure. Most of the blocking stuff was in the script. And what was interesting, though, was the way, oh the, my God. what I, that scared me. most of the, what happened was the more they got to know us as people, the more they would write to us in the script. So the more, like, little sort of foibles, yeah. personal foibles that they would sort of pick up on or personality things or things that Sorry, drove us crazy. Sorry, I got scared, so I teleported out. Or whatever. <laughs> um, um, uh, Isaac, do you want me to teleport you to me? Yeah. The more they saw of that kind of stuff, the more they would write it in the scripts and things. I'm beginning yeah. to get that slightly chilled post, yeah. post burn and learn and, um, and brain dead thing happening. And now that I've eaten, I'm sure I'll probably just fall asleep for you on door. camera. Mm -hmm. Um, d -stab. Well... You could have lost. My friend invited me to board. mine 50... What is it? Mm, I want to try what? this. Oh, Simply Sykes says being extremely lucky to work I in data analytics. <gasps> I, I just did a whole course on data science. I love this whole data analytics nice. stuff. Okay, um, before this all hit, and in a town of 63 people, low risk What's while the world that? is crazy. Oh, I'm yes. glad. Well, yeah. stay safe, Simply Psych, because uh, the fact of the matter is it's very easy for it to, set to show up. Chat. And with 63 people around, and if you're, don't, you keep, don't let your guard down. Um, do you find it disappointing that SGA never made, never got the Extinction movie, which I mean, I had scripts already. Oh. Uh, German Trekkie, I'm, I, it really pissed me off, I gotta say, because we never even said so goodbye said, to people. Um, we just assumed, everyone said we were uh, doing a movie, with all so, the materials you well, got, see you in a couple of months for the movie, and then, of course, uh, nothing happens, so. Miss Carol Z agreed, I can't with people. I work yeah, in a drugstore for crying aloud. We have zero hand soap, stuff. sanitizer, toilet paper, oh, thermometers. We have to use a refrigeration testing thermometer on our heads to check our temperatures before each shift. Mm -hmm. Panic has gotten out of hand. Look, I think there's nothing wrong with caution, but I mean, I think there's sort of this selfish, reckless abandon for, for, for just like, you know, we, you know, Buy one freaking package of toilet paper. If everyone did that, there wouldn't be a problem. There's like a movie that we were going to see, The Platform or something, where if the top levels just Give ate what they needed uh, as opposed to trying to grab as much as they uh, can, by the time it reached the bottom, they would it would be enough for everybody. It's a perfect analogy here. I feel like it's like people are like hoarding this stuff when there's no freaking need for it. Um, I heard somewhere that you're not the only one, David. <laughs> People yeah. Honestly, that, uh, what I want to know the most is what was the God the signal in SGU? Oh, I don't know that. That wasn't my show. Um, I just asked ask David Blue about that. I was pissed <laughs> they did keep Atlanta, that they didn't keep, they uh, didn't. Oh, good. Jeff Lex. I was like, um, well, I guess Jeff Lex is in the band. Oh. Really? So, Sybil, you just haven't been able to find toilet paper. Thanks. Nice. Okay. Let's, let's try this. Let's try this. 
Um, uh, yeah, a lot of people are realizing that zombie movies are totally unrealistic because they still have toilet paper on the abandoned supermarket shelves. Yeah. Um, thanks to the idiots from Lehman Brothers who were first the first stone to fall in the recession of 20, 2009. Well, look, I tell you, Captain Calvin Cat, I think the recession that's coming is going to be a whole lot worse than that because I don't see how you shut down the world for this long and not have serious freaking economic repercussions. Okay, At the same time, look, we can shut down the world when it's important. Like, for example, I don't know, when we're okay, running into uh, global warming and uh, we need to stop polluting and stuff. Like... Everyone was like, we couldn't do that. The reality is we just did. Why? Because we were self-serving little jerks who are only want to look after ourselves. Okay. So there you go. I've what? said my piece. Um, Why not right. iron? What is blocking? Uh, Block? Is is what is that? Oh, okay. Uh, my mom's next door neighbor saw a woman in line threaten to spit on the cashier <laughs> if she didn't give them more than their allotted items. Wow. Well, that's someone to put in jail. Um... If we're talking Stargate, uh, Garmer, we're always talking Stargate. Uh, did you know Atlantis was coming up when you first played the K? No, no, I didn't. In fact, I pursued my manager, my agent, and everyone at the time, none of whom were still representing me, I should say, um, and said, look, I heard they've got a new show coming on. Maybe we could, uh, you know, be a part of that somehow. And no one followed up on it, which I thought was really funny. No, it's um, uh, and, and the only reason why I followed up on it was because I thought, like, I had so much fun guest starring on that show. And I thought, oh, maybe I'll get a guest star or two out of it. You know, it'd be kind of fun. But, you know. Okay. Yeah, you talk about blocking. So what is blocking? Oh, blocking. Like, oh, sorry, the blocking. Yes. Blocking is him. <laughs> Squirrel. Um, blocking. So when you do a scene, when you film a scene, you have to sort of map out where everyone's going to go and where everyone's going to move. And they call that blocking. So um, I don't know why. Probably just to make it sound much more complicated for people who don't understand. Um, so really all it is is just where you're going to stand in the scene. Because obviously with the camera, you want to be very aware of where the camera is. You don't want to block other people. Um, and, um, maybe that's the reason for blocking. I don't know why they call it that term, but anyways, so the idea is basically just what's the staging for the scene. Um, and, uh, I remember losing my temper once because I came in, I came in, and now they called me in later because there was some kind of rules about the turnaround and they didn't want to pay extra money to have me there earlier. So I, I got called in later. And so what they did to save time was they decided all of my blocking for this scene before I'd shown up. So I showed up and I got there and they're like, oh yeah, you just stand there and then you go to there and you do that and you do that. And I was like, really? Like, then you don't need me to play this role then because if you're just going to show me where I'm going to stand and not give me, not allow me to play McKay. Um, so again, I got a lot of eye rolls and stuff like that, but I just felt it was really important that, you know, this is a character that I know better than anybody at this point. And to have someone who'd not directed an episode before come in and decide that this is what I was going to do. I mean, most of it was fine, but there were just a couple of things where I was like, this just doesn't, like, that's not, and they're like, well, we blocked it that way. And it's like, well, unblock it. Um, anyways, like, I mean, it's, it's a very difficult thing. I always feel, I always felt like my job on set was to keep things, to keep things moving, to make, to do everything I could to make it, to get these episodes done. But at the same time, I also feel like, you know, I got to be, I got to stand up for my character as well. Because like, you know, if it's inconsistent, I'm the one who's going to get yelled at in these, in these Twitch, in these Twitch streams, basically. So, um, all right, Pixie Rose. I typed up a little blurb on how to play Minecraft with you guys. It's on the Discord under Minecraft. Oh, fantastic, Pixie Rose. You're the best. Pixie Rose is terribly efficient, I must say. Um, she was like, I, I think, better organized than many films I've worked on. Um, and it was just for her... For her documentary at, uh, documentary, at uh, film school. Yeah. So, thank you, Pixie Rose. Um, McKay is like Daniel in how basically he is Can a cat and cannot be controlled. Actually, That's a, right, Arrows Bane. A dangerous, oh, yeah. wild cat. Uh, yeah, go all McKay on them. Oh my god, I used to go McKay. I used to go McKay a lot. One of the worst moments that I had on that uh, on set was... Um, I mean, I won't mention names. But I remember coming into set one day... And I got in the trailer, and there were a couple of people who were getting made up who I didn't know. So I was like, hi, hi. And then I, and then I just launched into some complaint about something from the day before. At which point I found out that the people who were sitting there were contest winners who were fans who'd come in to, to, to meet us. And I only found that out because when I left the trailer, the publicist was there, and she'd gone off to get some food and came back sort of eating her breakfast and stuff. And I lost it on her. 
Because I was like, that's just not fair. That's not fair on the fans. It's not fair on me. You know, there's information there that I was talking about that I probably shouldn't have been talking about in front of them. Um, and um, and there's also, like, I want to make it a, like, you know, if, if I'd known they were there, I could have done something. I could have introduced myself differently. I mean, I just thought these were professionals that I'm working with, you know, who'd been on set a million times. I was just like, hey, how you doing? Good to see you. I'm a David, David, you know, blah, 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 that kind of stuff. And it just, I... Oh my God, I got in so much trouble too because apparently she was really upset. But I was, but I was really upset because I was like, come on, your job is to act as a liaison between these things and it wasn't happening. So anyways, that's, and I, oh my God, I went ballistic. I was not a nice person. Um, I mean, it was something like, I remember at one point she says, it sounds like you don't think I'm doing my job properly. And I was like, yeah, you're right. You're not doing your job properly. It was just, oh, it was awful. Um, I shudder to think about the, somehow the, that sort of, you get into a zone when you're working on a series all the time where you're kind of the character. Like McKay begins to sort of like creep into your everyday stuff more than perhaps it should. Um, and also there's a confidence with it because it's like this is, like this is your job. This is what I do. This is what I do well. I pride myself on being able to walk into a room and go like, great, these are the people who are new to the set and they're here because they won a contest and I'd have like a little thing ready for them in some way. Like even if it was just something in my head so I knew who their names were or something. I just wanted to be prepared for that stuff, to do it properly. And then to have people who weren't doing their jobs, it just, oh, people not doing their jobs drives me crazy. Anyways, there you go. Uh, scenario four, you have five minutes until the pole jumper explodes and you have to divert power. Shepard's in the background telling you to hurry. Well, that's, isn't that like a given? Um, uh, Lucky Jane, ha <laughs> ha, fumbles McStupid. Jane used to give me 15 minutes to lose McKay, maybe it was five, um, when I got home. Because I found myself doing things like Jane, 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 Jane and like snapping my fingers and stuff. Um, and she's like, yeah, yeah, 15 minutes to lose McKay or you lose me forever type thing, so yeah. Uh, yes, Pac Moms already knows that. I'm repeating my stories already. Probably would have laughed it off, talked to the contest winner as well, they're not perfect. All of us are, don't take it personal. No, no, I mean, the, the fact of the matter is that it's just, uh, uh, but shouldn't someone have made announced something like, hey, we have Scott Disorders coming in today? Yeah, that was my thing. That was my thing, is I just felt like you should, we should have been told about this. Um, uh, you know, that was the, that was the, that was my sort of frustration. But again, also, I remember like talking to, um, Wait, Cal, how did you get there? Um, I remember talking to, she's um, squid? Is Cal uh, Daniel Jackson, um, you know, about about this oh, and saying, like, how do you, you know, I was like, I was like, how do you, like, doesn't this stuff drive you crazy when things aren't working properly? You don't have the time to do a scene properly or you think something's wrong and no one wants to change it and, you know, just those kind of things. And he said, he said, yeah, I really, uh, it used to really, really bother me. And then he said, um, and then I wasn't working on the show for a while. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> when he came back, he was like, he was like, he just had a completely different attitude towards it. Like, um, you know, um, you know, like I always knew I wasn't the most important thing in the show. I just, and that I was replaceable. I, I, I know every actor is replaceable, whether they think they are or not. Um, and, uh, and I watched, you know, people struggle with that for sure. But um, at the same time, I just, it's, um, it's weird how sort of in your head, how into the office politics you can get. So I definitely, there are definitely times I feel guilty about, 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 um, about losing my temper on stuff on, on set, but, um, uh, but you know, it's also lots of coffee, very little sleep, that kind of stuff always helps. How much did the SGC pay Daniel at the end? What? I don't know. That'd be good to know. Um, back to saving the world. SG cast is not replaceable. Well, Eli Wallet, the reality is they are. I mean, that's, I mean, I don't, and I don't mean that in a, in a cavalier kind of a way. I just mean that if, that what's up? White had a question. Yeah, Parkland's uh, got a question. Wanted you to say something. What's as up about? McKay. About. Can you what say you something <laughs> as McKay? I'm always saying things as McKay. Like talk. <laughs> yeah, how about this? Dance, monkey, dance. I don't play that. Um, uh, <laughs> can I say something like McKay? My life is McKay. I talk like McKay all the time. Baz, whenever I get angry at you, I'm McKay. That's really? Basically. Oh yeah, totally. Oh, that's twenty four seven. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. <laughs> Yeah, very true, very true. Um, what I mean by Adam West syndrome is because of his history of playing Batman, the jokes of him believing he was Batman, tying into David, talking about how each person starts to become the character. I think you can't help it to some extent. I mean, I think... 
Uh, well, I mean, I shouldn't say that. Maybe pe some people can. Um, uh, I definitely found there was you get you get relaxed. You become, Wait, really? you know, you become to sort of take on those things. You know, um, no, he was not replaceable. It was another show then. Uh, since the cast wasn't just Jack O'Neill or Doctor McKay, they are all replaceable. <laughs> That's insane, dude. Pac Mom says, I think David sounds like McKay all the time. Pretty close. Um, uh, okay, probably a lot less snark. I don't know. I mean, look, I get snarky too. I, I, you know, the funny thing is that as I get older, I, I'm trying to embrace the McKay side of me perhaps less and less because the reality is I should be more positive. I should be more generous in my, in, in my, uh, in my dealings with people and I should be more uh, perhaps understanding and a little less, uh, a, a, little, a little less abrupt. Um, but there's sort of a time and a place for everything, you know. Josh Wheaton was the, known for reminding his actors that the show is called Firefly. That's the ship. You're all oh, replaceable. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm... That's yeah, what I'm we're Stargate. I think that's the... I mean, you know. Um, sorry, David, I didn't mean to upset you. I am autistic and sometimes don't understand social cues. Arclight, not at all. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not upset at all. No, no, I'm, I was totally joking. I mean, the reality is... The reality is, Hark, like, that's exactly how McKay would have reacted if you asked him to talk like McKay, right? <laughs> that's sort of that. That's sort of it. So don't, don't worry about that. You've got, you got your social cues entirely right. That was, uh, that was just, uh, that was just me doing the thing. Um, yeah, it's funny. It's one of those things, like, it's like, it's like, uh, I remember working on, um, uh, Kung Fu Legend Continues, and, uh, and David Carradine one day came in and was sort of a little out of it, and, and, uh, he started doing the scene, and of course he didn't know any of his lines, so he yeah, well, or he'd forgotten all of his lines, and he so he just turned to me and he went, "Be funny," and sort of like slapped me on the side of the face a little bit, and then literally the camera just keeps rolling. Everyone's like, "Okay," <laughs> Point, points at me, and I'm like, "What? That's not that's not fair." So um, still managed to get through the scene. Um, ah, uh, uh, David, we are stop. as we mature, most of us develop our emotional intelligence and how we respond um, to each other and tweak our responses. Craft, right? Yeah. And the other thing, thing funny what thing. What does it mean by how do you combine stuff into a? How do you combine uh, stuff? I don't know. Sure. It's a mystery. An enigma uh, wrapped in a here. Stargate, Star Trek, NCIS crossover. Oh my God, Mark Harmon! What a Cal lovely freaking guy! Here. I worked with him on a TV movie, and he just oh, he was absolutely. I think he signed. I think he might have signed like my marriage license or something, or maybe even like my passport or something. I was working with him, and like, I didn't. I had to get this thing signed and sent off, and he, he like signed it for me. And then when I was in LA, he, he sort of we got in touch, and he was the, he was, uh, he was absolutely lovely, 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 lovely man. So kind, um, so yeah, generous, like, um, and uh, and really okay. handsome. He's a good looking guy. <laughs> Anyways, um, all right, watch Space Idiots nothing, and Sass nothing, Masters sorry. for much Shepard and McKay snark. Oh really? And then I went, nope, don't need you. Wasn't Sorry, Harmon a very mean, bad man um, in that TV no, series? I, yes, Fumbles McStupid. He Sorry. played a real serial killer. What do you got? Who, what? No, no, you're not a real serial killer. I'm saying the guy we're talking about played a serial killer in... Oh, oh okay. Oh, I can't tell who's talking to you now at this point. Um, no, I'm talking... I'm listening to you. No, no, I'm not about that. Okay. Uh, I did some head slapping back when classmates annoyed me. I'm sure, Captain Calvin Cat. I'm sure we all did. German Trekkie, what are you up to? We might see your sister here with you. Yeah, maybe. Possibly, possibly. It's, it's, you know, never, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't surprise, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, uh, she was talking about another assassin date, but I just don't know, I just don't know when we have time to do it with, with, uh, with all this stuff going on. Yas, Kate. Michael C. Hall, another great actor, yes. Oh, wow, what about, um, um, oh my gosh, come on, David, working myself through this. Uh, who was the guy who did a, he did an arc? He was in, oh my God, Caesar, Rise of the Apes. I worked with him and I've forgotten his name. This is what happens when you get tired. Andy Serkis? Um, Andy Serkis? Andy oh, yeah, Serkis was amazing. Like no, um, uh, it's, uh, I get, I've, I've compl I don't know why I've blanked on this. This is ridiculous. Um, somebody help me out here. Right clicking. Thanks, Pac Mom. Um, um, uh, uh, Cal. Yeah, have a look on uh, IMDb because I've, I've forgotten the name of the um, actor. I, I have this. Salus Mundus and I have a crafting Lithgow. table. Lithgow? But I don't know how to turn it into Thank the farm craft crafting table. I'm trying that, but it just opens up the crafting table. <laughs> <laughs> so my sister warned you that I'd get a big head if I, if you, if I, if I saw you wearing a t-shirt with me on it? Yeah. That sounds like her. Outside with the dog and someone has the grilling going. Oh, yeah. 
Harclight just updated the PC. AMD 3950X CPU RTX 2070. 32 gigs of Corsair Dominator RAM. One terabyte PCIe yeah. 3 M2 yeah. drive. Ooh, that does sound nice. Yeah. In my German I fan fact, I have NCS I Star Trek, Stargate Aladdin, the Pyrus, Doctor Who, yeah. Hercules, and Xena. Oh, my oh God. do I need the book with me? Miss Carol's poor elder Hewlett. Uh, yeah, I've already opened up the book, and it told me... Third Rock from the Sun, the yes. He's the most lovely man, and I'm so embarrassed that I forgot his name. Um, he was also really embarrassed because he thanked... I remember he was saying that he, he just won an award, and he thanked the wrong network. <laughs> he got confused and <laughs> take the wrong network and he was just traumatized by it. But this, I got a really great story about him. So he, doing, first day of shooting on, on Rise of the Apes, um, you know, we have like a very brief interaction at one point. Um, and, uh, and then he's, he's sent yeah. home, he leaves, we're on this big you, leafy street in, in Vancouver. Oh, and no. uh, suddenly I see sort of like this ruckus in the back and this van sort of pulls up and 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 he gets out and he runs up and he says he says David I'm I'm, 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 I'm so sorry I, I didn't I didn't I didn't get a chance to say goodbye goodbye David thank you it's a ple- it's a pleasure and then got back in the car and took off and apparently he'd left for the hotel turned around and come back to say goodbye and what he did in doing that which I absolutely love him for whether he meant to or not was all of a sudden everybody on that crew knew who I was. And um, and he just, you know, I, I had a tiny little part, um, tiny little role, and I and I really enjoyed the director that we worked with, we chatted, and, and I just, I really sort of looked up to him. And uh, and Lithgow was just, he was, he was absolutely, uh, do I mean Lithgow? Have I got it right again? Yeah, I said, well, are you back? I've lost it again. Yeah. Um, Okay. Uh, and he just he was just he was just a lovely lovely man so um, I, I couldn't, couldn't get over how much I anymore, how much so I enjoyed I, I enjoyed, like, oh, enjoyed working with him um, <laughs> yeah it is awesome it is awesome who you wanted me to look up no no Pixie Rose I think I've got it I think I got it now I think I finally got it my brain finally started working I'm gonna just double check because I've got thanks, it thanks Cal for telling uh, me that I need the thumb on a craft book yeah John it's John for sure um uh and he's just, I mean, he's one of those brilliant actors who's been around forever, and yet he's, uh, uh, he's just, he's just this extraordinary gentleman, just an amazing guy, amazing, amazing guy. I mean, talking about Meet Your Heroes, he's, he's like one of those guys where I'm just like, oh my God, when I am his age, I want to be that, and he has the same, I mean, not the same, I shouldn't say that, but he has this same sort of excitement and curiosity about stuff, I think. I mean, not so much in the sciences, but... He just loves the business and he loves all the little connections and stuff. I just, yeah, I was, yeah. I would have loved to see me in, in Planet of the Apes Part 2 and 3. Although it would be kind of hard because I, I, I kind of had to die in order for the planet to go to the apes, kind of, sort of. Um, who you wanted me to look up? Pixie Rose. It's okay, I looked him up. It was, I, I, I remembered. It was Lithgow. And I just, I just, for some reason, John's, John's name, for some reason, I can't. But every so often I've got names that I can't get and, and he's got one. He's one of them. Uh, isn't it great though? And speaks to how any one of us can make them? someone's day with a brief moment of thoughtfulness. No, that's it. No. I mean, that's so true, Pac Mom. That's exactly it. And I, I feel like, um, you know, uh, uh, it, it's sort of trickle down, right? If your stars, if your stars are, and I mean, you know, whatever they're called, they're movie stars. The, the actors who are at the the top of the list, the top of the call sheet. Um, you know, if they're good people with good hearts, it it uh, it makes for a different production than, than people who are just completely focused on themselves so you know uh i know you said lithgow but for some reason i'm thinking john cleese it's funny i there's definitely a group of people who i do get confused hello john fast lane very good we've got a lot um lot going on today actually we've been uh i've done a whole burn and learn that's why i look so ridiculously um, I so have I. t-shirt so is bass good point um and now we've moved into the streaming component and then we have about 20 more minutes, and then I'm going to kick everyone off because I have to go and talk to my friends. I've got friends. We haven't all got together for years, and we're Can all going to get together. Can I stay in the background? Well, maybe. We might talk about you, though. That's fine. I mean, because we, we'd like to talk about how bad our children are. Yeah. Um, yeah, sure. Well, we'll see. We'll see how they feel about it. But no, I'll put headphones on. Then you can't hear what they're saying. Anyway. Yeah, Perfect. yeah, yeah, Done, yeah. done. Yes, Smart. you can. Smart. I totally yeah. forgot that you were playing the mind-blowing horror movie, The Cube. Yes. Cube was a horror movie? Uh, amazing movie. And fun fact, one of my family friends, Jasmine... Sorry, Jones... that was a dumb question, wasn't oh, it? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> what, did, what did Jasmine play Sorry. in Cube Zero? I think they say that of all the, nope. of all the sequels, Cube Zero was the most, most oh. interesting, apparently. 
Um, I loved Cube. I gotta say, I was very skeptical about... Uh, uh, the one that, uh, you, someone, Dad, we watched a movie, and someone took something from it, where it's like, the laser beams, and they just slice them Oh, up. yeah, 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 that's so funny, the, so... Is that the, is that, is Cube the one that that's, that, that's what they stole from? Yes, but done with Cube, but done with wires instead of lasers. Ah. And it was, it wasn't stolen, it was an homage, and apparently the director in the, uh, it was one of the... Sorry, yeah, what I was mean, it called? I mean, what was the movie? What movie? What was the movie? It was like... I, don't, I honestly don't remember. It was based it. on a video game. Remember, like Silent Hill or something, not Silent Hill. Um, um, uh, Resident Evil? Yes, there was a... Uh, Resident oh Evil? Resident Evil. So Resident Evil, if you listen to the commentary on that, they'll actually mention... Callier, and they'll actually mention Q because he was so taken with this idea that Vincenzo had come up with um, uh, that he sort of used his own version with lasers in the new one. So yeah. Sorry. Arrows being, you don't like this series? I, they're just silly fun. I mean, that's what I like. Uh, no, Look at the chat, David. Third Eye Storytelling. What do you got? Uh, what am I crying at? What are you crying? What are you laughing okay? at? Look at the chat. Look at the yeah, chat. Look at the chat. Scared me. Um, <laughs> I need a TP. Hey, Jarl von Barf. <laughs> that's pretty good. Pretty good handle you got there, Jarl von Barf. Oh, hey, Lady X-Brost is here, too. Um... You're a monster hunter. Oh, Luttrell. Rachel Luttrell. Yeah. She's like in... I, she's Wait, what's like, up, Jack? Sorry? Yeah? I just found the craziest place. I'll let them talk. There's, they're oh, having trouble really? talking. I was 11, and we were in a creaky rundown house in the middle of nowhere. When you watched what? I want to build a base here. Huh. David, in the episode of Tao of Ravi, hey, was the steak still warm? They were usually pretty good at providing... Salus Mundus thingy. It's pretty, pretty good. The food, they were usually pretty good at the food there. And their jellos and yeah. things. We need a stream with you and old cla old castmates. Oh my god, the old man stream. Um, I just started the computer for playing Minecraft myself. Well, very good choice, Lady X Prost. Um, Zenos <laughs> is doing the Patreons. Thank you very much. Now the Patreon, just so you know, is the whole idea of the Patreon is to try to get some money coming in on a monthly basis for my tech bandits because there are costs associated with that. Um, and, uh, in some cases I've actually turned down work because I, I feel well, like Jack I was obligated really to do, away. to do, I'd, I'd promise to do the tech bandits. So, and, I, have to you know, so I would like to make it, um, it not lower. cost me a lot of money, really. So, uh, so anything you can do to help on that would be, a, would be amazing. I mean, D stats being great, providing technology, be. some, uh, up, uh, server oh, stuff, Firstly, just I things that I don't have to spend money on now. So, you know. I need a tool, a thermometer, the book calls it as well. <laughs> Crafting table. How is it? And yep, Lady X Pros, we're obviously, we've got some kind of a Vulcan mind meld going on here. Obviously, if Minecraft is your thing. I, of course, have not been playing any Minecraft. I've just been chatting the entire time. Uh, oh, thank you, Eric. Yeah, That's very kind. Minecraft, Look, if it's easier, and I understand, like, a monthly a monthly um, donation, that, I understand how much of a commitment that is. And, and I, so, there's also, there is on thetechbandits.com, you can do a one-time donation if that's, I understand that there's a lot going on right now. There's a million things that, that, that I, I'm sure are far more important than this. But all I know is that, is that it allows me to continue doing this stuff. I mean, you know, there's, there's 3D filament, there's glue, there's supplies, there's batteries, there's robots, there's, you know, programs and, and training and all sorts of stuff that is just, it's very, it's very, very, it's much easier for me to do this when I know that there's a, a little bit of money to, to, to help, to help make it happen. So I, I do appreciate that very much. Um, uh, how's your German going? <laughs> I don't, I'm, my German sucks. <laughs> What do you need, um, Donate supplies. Oh, wow. I mean, yeah, mercenary prints. I mean, donate supplies. It's, uh, supplies are fantastic. The, the issue really is um, is just... Um, it's called Monday uh, I tried the wish list thing. I couldn't figure that out, how to get that to... I tried doing... I signed up for the affiliate thing, and they, they, they immediately said I'd done something wrong and knocked me off. So I got <laughs> I got frustrated with that. But um, Amazon wish list is, a, is probably a... Probably a good idea. So, what do you do? You make like a, a, a public wish yeah. list of things that we might one? need, type thing. Oh, Wolfshade, pleasure, pleasure. Thank you for chatting with me. Gosh, I mean, it'd be okay. kind of boring if I was talking to myself. I do like blue Jello. Yes, I also like that blue. Um, Jack, do you mind if I tell that blue Gatorade you? stuff? I like, I like uh, that too. Are you one of those people that um, likes everything blue flavored? Dad, are you one of those people that likes everything blue flavored? 
Not not always. I can't drink blue alcohol. <laughs> Never could. He's always used to make me sick. Anything that was he blue have generally. His headphones on. That blue drinks. No, he doesn't have headphones. So. Chat. P seven. Chat. Um, Neil Grayson from Eureka is also streaming on here. Oh, fantastic! Wow. wow. That's awesome. Hey guys, we need to. What is your favorite movie bed? based on a video game? Oh my god, that's kind of hard. What is my favorite movie based on a video game? Favorite movie based on a video game. Great job, thanks guys. I don't know that I have one. Honestly, I I it usually they usually fail miserably. Hello. I gotta say. Hello. I'm gonna make. Uh, a blue Jello. It tasted uh, just this? like sugar, <laughs> basically. Tomb Raider. Oh. Yeah, maybe. Maybe Tomb Raider. I, you know, it just, it doesn't. I'll be there. Resident Evil is fun. Yeah, it's true. This little Um. Oh yeah. I have Tomb Raider movies were they're fun. Again, I just I find it hard to get too excited about it. I, I just you know, Detective Pikachu. We did like Detective Pikachu. That's I true. love Detective. Pikachu. Yeah, we did. We kind of. Oh, that was a great movie. Um, Isaac says that was a great movie as well. Uh, Tech Bandits donates to Blue Drinks to movies based on games. What a combo. I know, we jump around a bit, Mercery ba ba uh, Prince. Basically, um, the stream is very ADHD like myself, I think. Um, and not just because of Angelina Jolie. Oh my god, that woman is like, oh, is like she's like alien beautiful. Um, I like them for being good movies. Uh, 77 people watch. Ooh, fancy. Thank you for keeping track of that. We just lost one because you told us that. I, um, I wish they would have a Halo movie. Didn't they do a Halo oh, movie? That's easy. How they did, did like an animated Halo movie, didn't they? Uh, you uh, right you click. Build? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you click. need premium yeah. to stream? What does that mean? Do you need help clearing out? Do you need pre Baz, do you need premium to stream? What does that mean? Uh, what premium? Oh, like Twitch Prime. No. I don't think so. No, I think you can stream for free. I mean, like, I don't think there's any cost to streaming. Have a very good day, David. I hope Baz, Jane, and yourself stay well. I'm off to watch more SGA. Oh, well, enjoy, Bob Carnes. Thank Hi. you for coming by. I appreciate it. Thank you for it. coming by and yeah. spending your valuable time they... watching SLGA. Well, that big wow. Out? The kids, uh, someone trained that kid good. Anyone just can in, stream. Just in case if you want more room. Of okay. course. Thank you. Uh, and um, if you ever need materials, just ask. The TV show Halo. Yeah, I, I don't know. I didn't like, that didn't really work okay. for me so well. Um, uh, what was your favorite video game movie? Anyone that David could be in. Okay. Ha. He's almost dead, though. Might what well would be fun to do? Oh, he's leaving. Well, I mean, Cyberpunk. Oh, my gosh. That sounds amazing. I'd love to be in that. Um, oh, what was the other one that would that. be good? Oh, what was it? Was it Watch Dogs? What was the hacking one? Watch Dogs. Oh, yeah, yeah Watch Dogs. that. I'd love to do that. That'd be really fun. Um, How do you mean uh, a research table? John Fast thing. Stream numbers. Your stream numbers are going up over time. Was around 55 people when I started watching. Oh, us. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's amazing. I mean, think it's a... It definitely sort of builds. I know Baz is really excited about hitting 75, was it average viewers? Well, that... Yeah, we need 75 average viewers and then we will be what is called a partner, which I feel like is a lot of people's uh, 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 goals. Um, yeah, is it? But, uh, but, uh, no, uh, it, it, squirrel. if you are, 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 yeah. spit it out. If you are a partner, if, if you are... If you've done the re re requirements... By, I think he needs a you reboot. You will be able... <laughs> sorry. Sorry. You, the thing about those you will be able is, to... All right, stop. Take a breath. Start again. If you get the requirements, you can do what? Baz, we lost you. Dude, you're we, in the you middle don't. of talking. No, I'm listening to them. There's a, there's oh, I see. Sorry, I can't talking. hear you. All right. So basically, I think the excitement there is that you become a partner, which unto itself, I guess, is like a credibility at school. Um, and uh, I, I think there may be some other ways of you can get your merchandise in or something. I don't know. This, 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 it sounds kind of exciting. It, becomes, it means you're like a serious streamer. And I think Baz's like, dream job is to be a streamer. So as his dad, of you course, I want to make it as... Possible, I know, but like you know. affiliate makes you like a next yeah. level. I know. We are affiliate, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I thought that was gonna meet. If you meet the requirements. Oh my god. So that's many conversations. Bad. Very true. Oh. Uh, squirrels are quite cute. <laughs> oh my god, it really is. There really are a lot of conversations going on. It's very true. I like the fact that everyone has picked up on the 
on the many different strands of conversation that everyone has become, <laughs> it's become the norm on our chat to be all over the place. Is this what it's always like? I mean, Does is this... anyone have a feather? There you go. Um, all right. It gets you like more of the sub. Feather. Oh, does it, Zenos? I didn't know that. Oh, I need wow. some. Sorry. I need oh, Soda Crafter. Your son is also really excited about that. Arconians. Well, we better, we better, like, we better, uh, we better raid your son's uh, Twitch stream or something then. Even I'm things. affiliate, and I stream oh, no, like three okay. times I mean, a year. Oh my god, ugly pig bees. Way to make us feel out. like. Oh, oh. <laughs> Eli Wallach, I like it. Classic McKay organized chaos. For a chicken. Uh, division 2. I think I have the original division. I think it came with, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god, Hulagram. Wouldn't that be fun as a TV series? That would be really. I, the, the only problem is it's based on another series, right? So it'd be, I think it was kind of a ripoff, isn't it? Wouldn't it be a ripoff if we actually did the TV series? As an homage to Auto Man, I think it was, you know. Um, I think it was fantastic, but I, I think you actually... I mean, he had some ideas for it, for sure. I think he might have even pitched it as a series. Seems like a popular goal these days. My nephew is also eager to stream this and that. Well, that's it. I mean, look, I think in a way that... Like, I wanted to be an actor. I wanted to be in movies when I was growing up. That's all I... Well, or basically, I wanted to be Doctor Who. But, um, you know, but that's all I wanted to be. And, you know, my parents... I'm not saying that they fought it, but, like, my mom was much more sort of... Uh, um, nurturing about that kind of stuff. My father really felt like it was an absolutely stupid thing to do for to think you were going to be able to make a living doing it. Um, so when Baz first said it, I was like, oh my God, everyone wants to be a streamer. What are you thinking? And then I was like, well, but you know what? I'm sure that was like me going up to my dad saying I want to be an actor. So I sort of feel like it's important to at least, you know, take it seriously. And then also I realized like I'm in a very privileged position, right? I can stream and some people will care about that. So, you know, whereas just starting from scratch, it's 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 a lot harder. But Arrow's Bane, you out of here. Um, everyone, goodbye, Arrow's Bane. Thank you for coming by, Arrow's Bane. Appreciate it. Um, Lady X Prost, I have not seen Picard yet. I want to binge it, uh, and i got to talk my son into watching it with me. Uh, I wanted to be an actor, too, so I went to acting school, and they said, you're a talentless hack. Oh, I've been told that many times, Captain Calvin Cat. They never let that stop you. Uh, many people care for the one and only McKay, as they should. Certainly McKay does. Um, live long and prosper, Arrow's Bane. There you go. Um, They're such a nice bunch. Everyone actually says goodbye and hello and all that Hi. kind of stuff. So, um, Whatever, David. We'll watch it with you. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I am back. Well, let's just do it online then. We'll just do streaming. Um, Wait, Jack, are you talking about your Sky Island? Yes. Oh, Jack, did you get did Jack get Should up to I, a Sky Island? Do you want? I will happily move over there. Nice. Fumble's like stupid. We're well brought yeah. up. I'll so, move over too then. Okay. Oh, we're all. Okay. Hello, Doug in London. No, How no, are no. you? You can keep living there. Don't worry. Uh, Our parents have risen as well. I will be right back. Like all digital the time. senior. You too. Enjoy. Look after yourself. Thank you for. Thank you for uh, for lurking. Appreciate Where it. Where are you, Jack? Mercenary Princess, come to the UK. Not right now. Uh, you could just teleport to Jack. We oh, always come to the I UK. My... Mercenary Prince, we're basically in the UK oh. every summer. Because um, all of our, uh, well, actually not anymore, but a lot of our family was there. Um, and um, uh, and we go to Wales like every year because Jane has like a, a family reunion thing that she goes to. So, um I'm sad that your star cross never got picked up. Yeah, yeah, that was He's a really... really far away. You know what maybe I'll do well, is maybe I'll put the star cross pilot up uh, Jack, for you guys to read. Is there a way I mean, it to doesn't, keep all your I'm sure it doesn't stuff, hold up anymore, like, but it was fun. In while you move? Hmm. Or should I, I just know. turn everything into inglets and blue? How is Darling Clementine? I mean, she sounded... Uh, they too, sounded too. like things were, were, I mean, were tough, but... Uh, but but what? it sounded like they were on top of it. I just found trees in a cave. I just missed you at Warwick Castle one year. Really? Oh, really? I went the day after you tweeted about being there. It's you know we were married in, in Warwick Castle. Jane and I were married in Warwick yeah. Castle. Oh, we love that place. Um, I found out that Jane had like a dream of getting married in a castle, and and Warwick Castle was round the corner from us, and uh, where her dad's her dad's place is, Aww. and. Um, uh, so we, uh, we got married there. I mean, it's ridiculous. We could only do it because we were doing Stargate, but, and it was, you know, crazy, lavish thing that we did, but my God, what an amazing, I was so freaking out because it was like, I was like, this is too expensive. And we're like, oh, uh, uh, you're married, wedding people, who goes where? And, but the reality is we even ended up flying some friends in at our own expense. But the reality is that 
we had everybody together, and it was like the coolest freaking night ever. It's absolutely gorgeous. The oh, my only reservation about that whole thing is I wish I forgot to put gel in my hair. There you go. Um, I still have an unsigned photo from Polaris. Really? Things didn't work out. I missed you. Oh, Doug in London. Really? I'm so sorry. So, Sybil, you're allowed to work from home? I thought people were like, I thought they were saying that if you can work from home, you should work from home. Oh, did you mention that? Uh, you're supposed to do... No, wait, you can't hear me. Never mind. Uh, no, you could say it and then I'll mm. repeat it. No, it's fine. Okay. Ha. <laughs> We paid for, not everybody. I mean, I think most of my friends, poor, poor, most of my poor friends had to pay for themselves. But there was, there were a, a few people who we really wanted to be there who were sort of struggling with, a, with money at the time. Um, so we, we just, we, there's a bit of family and a bit of friends. And it was, look, again, I was doing Stargate. <laughs> I mean, there was, it, I just, I felt like, you know, if you, if you, if you can't spend money on, on experiences like that when you're, doing a show, what what are you going to spend it on? You know what I mean? I'd have a nicer computer now, maybe. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was amazing. So, Sylvia, you give out food stamps and medical coverage, government job. Oh, really? But you can do, you can do that from home now? Oh, Project Arcaturas. Today was an exciting day in New York City. I had to run to my pharmacy to pick up something today, and usually it's right around the corner from my office. Today I walked 90 minutes each way. Very wet, lots of rain today. Didn't think it would be wise to take the subway. Yeah, probably not. Hey, Victor Crown, how you doing? Yeah, maybe not. I don't like. I, I don't know if I'd go on the subway right now. I don't, yeah, it feels weird. Um, I, yeah, I mean, everyone, I'm alive. Well, that's good, Victor Crown. That's the, then you've achieved the first and most important part of your day, staying alive. Where are you based, Victor? And welcome, by the way. Victor, you're new to the mix, aren't you? I don't. I don't think I recognize Victor Crow. Oh, my game. Hey, Ontario, Canada. Oh, so there you go. We're doing all right, right? That's where I'm at too. I'm in Toronto. Uh, very good, Victor. John Fastlane. Glad you got out. Did you get some fresh foods? Oh yeah, did you? I mean, how are people? <laughs> Captain Calvin Cat singing the freaking Bee Gees. Um, staying alive, staying alive. Um, I realize I'm really bad at gaming streams because all I'm doing is standing here talking. Is that all right? Do you mind? No, it's fine. You okay with that? I'm gonna have to wrap it up soon because I'm actually I'm beginning to get a little bit of the old uh, hypothermia because I've done the exercise all sweaty and then I've cooled down and now I'm freezing again. Um, Ooh, destroyed ice cream later. We got through a giant bag of those. What are those little eggs? Those chocolate eggs are so good. Kinder. They're like the candy-coated uh, Cadbury's the eggs. Mini, eggs. Mini, mini eggs. Mini eggs. Oh, my God. We love the mini oh, eggs. Um, <laughs> at least I was two weeks ago. What's this? Uh, I missed something. Sorry, Victor. I missed a, a chunk of the thing here. I've been here and there, and I asked about sending in my game. Demo, when I finished it like two weeks. Oh, really? Did you? What was the, uh, so what was the game demo? Wait, is it, is, is, is it the game demo something moved? you could post a link to on here so everyone can have a look at it? You've already moved? Oh, no, I love Cadbury's no, Cream Eggs. I love yeah, Cadbury's Cream Eggs here. with... They're really one of my, 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 like my most oh, favorite I'm things. Moving, but, um, to, but no, I'm these are these little, like, like they're just like little mini chocolate eggs with a little leather. candy shell I'll, in there. Uh, Crazy good. craft some backpacks so then we're going to be able to... Oh, okay, Victor. Well, keep us posted because, I mean... One of the things I love about this stream is how supportive everybody is. So if the stuff you want to get out there, I, I feel like people should be able to... Apparently, it's okay to share links when we say share links. It's not okay just to come in and start sharing links, which is that's when that's when Cal comes in with her killer claws and takes you out. <laughs> or, you know, or Jack Jasra, the, 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 uh, the iron fist of Jack Jasra. <laughs> the Terminator. The Terminator. That's it. Get in the chopper. Cal. Look at that angry cow. Um, I have a bag of mini eggs I'm hoarding. I think that's the only thing I... I think the only thing I... <laughs> Cal and me. Jack. I was like, don't hoard things. It's bad. Uh, toilet paper, all that kind of stuff. You know, think of other people. Except when it comes to chocolate. And then hoard everything chicken, you can. Because, my God, God, you're stuck in the house. Oh, God, yes. um, or you can dance. You can jive. 
having the time. Oh my gosh, Xenos is now doing the damn dance. Now we're on ABBA again. How do we get back there? All right, it's six thirty. I have to go and talk to friends at seven. Okay. So I'm gonna have to. So uh, we're gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna have to leave you. I'm afraid. Um, uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you all so much. Now don't be killing it so fast before I get to say goodbye to everybody. I, I, I'm just saying thank you so much as well. No, You're I saying, know. well, you have a bubba. Worst son ever. Worst son. You bought a ton of chocolate before Easter. Oh, well, really? Yeah, because all, they're all Easter chocolates now, aren't they? When's the next stream before you go? Uh, when the next stream before you go? Oh, yes, before oh, I go. Jack, um, Just, we will probably oh, stream tomorrow. But we will probably be streaming tomorrow after he's finished school. So probably like four or something like that. Although, no, what am I saying? Tomorrow, I should be doing a great game um, stream. So when will that be? Probably tomorrow morning. I will tweet it. So check on Twitter. D yeah, same. Hey, D Hewlett. At D. Hewlett on Twitter. I will send them out. Dude, um, follow me. And uh, Doug in London's got to go eat. So take care. Doug, have fun. I'm wrapping up myself anyways. So thank you. Uh, oh, no. Tomorrow's Sunday. Damn it. I've done it again. You ready? Tomorrow's Sunday. We'll be streaming tomorrow Wednesday. afternoon as well, I'm sure. Yeah. Miss Carol Z, goodbye. Captain Calvin Cat, Baz. Oh, yeah. Let's concentrate on saying okay. goodbye to people. Goodbye. Um, and now, okay. now just goodbye to everyone. Wash your hands. Do we have to wash our hands that much when we're in the house, though? I mean, yes, of course. Wash your hands a lot. Um, uh, so, look, thank you all uh, until we... No, no, wait a second. Should we do a... Should we raid one of your favorite people again? Uh, is... Are they on? Or what about... Oh, yes! I have someone that I really Mom. like who's online. What about Pac-Mom's Kid? Pac... Okay. Pac-Mom's Kid has a, has sure. a channel. Should we, we raid, raid them? Pac-Mom, do you have the channel name? Are they on... Uh, is your son on now? Get them on now. Oh, private server. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay. Um, um, so, can I rate someone else that I really like? Who have you got? Her name is Mother Moon. Mother Moon. And she's playing Animal Crossing. She's oh, really nice. Oh, not. She's really uh, funny. It's Stardew <laughs> Valley with no soul. I don't like it. Okay, so we're going to do that. But before we do that, so how does this work, though? So, when you rate a stream, what happens? Are you ready? Does everyone go to the... Oh, we are rating. What? What are we doing? What? Oh, cancel, 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 cancel. What happened? Sorry. Is she not live or something? Uh, no, but I wrote in the wrong name. So, a random person. I swear everyone's playing Animal Crossing. And I don't understand why, because honestly, Stardew Valley is it's much fun. prettier. Anyways, okay. So, uh, how does this thing work, though? So, we start to raid. That's the right one. Wait a second. So, we start to raid, yeah. but then we lose our stream. Oh, yeah. And it is intended for a little older audiences. What? Yeah. What? She swears. What the? F but that's okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. Um, all right, everybody. Good night. Thank you so much. Lots of Wait, love. Now. What's See that? you tomorrow. Well, we're not done yet. Okay. We're not? Okay. Goodbye. Yeah. Now the stream is gone. All right. Wait, are we done? No, I'm not done yet.